hello everybody, welcome to Five Idiots. I'm Jimmy Fantastic, uh, I am Daka, a human fighter. And then this is the rest of the party, Eliod. Hello, I'm Eliod the Nom, a gnome, a level three gnome, a level three rock gnome. Uh, I'm a, uh, oh my god, a cleric. Oh, there we go, easy. <laughs> <laughs> Do we? Oh, me? Oh, hang on. I thought we went that way. Oh, yeah. I'm uh, Dale Quist. I'm, um, <clears throat> I'm Floral Snarp, the, uh, the Goblin King. Um, and I'm a sorcerer, um, having stolen uh, a dragon's artifact. Uh, I am starting to grow dragon scales, but yeah. Oh yeah. Most of it is failing. yeah. Oh, when did that happen? <laughs> He's that really into the role playing. <laughs> El Elliot's just wearing things. <laughs> Tables actually growing scales. No, yeah. it's Dimi. Dimitri of the X Man. <laughs> and uh the I chop X Man, X Man. X Man. Yeah. I've uh, killed everything, and these lads have done nothing. And, yeah, I'm solo carrying the campaign. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jimmy. <laughs> wow, dude! Excellent you intro, Jimmy. You Glorious. start every encounter with the uh, with the enemies, like by. Either try to tame wild beasts <laughs> that will chew your hand, or stumbling in the dark, falling flat on your face. How, ma how many acid splashes have you hit? Flat? <laughs> how many acid splashes? How it's much neither here nor there. How much <laughs> have you done with Let's bring acid it back splashes. together, boys. Let's bring it back together. <laughs> yep, yep. Take it away, sure Jack Bull. We'll more, uh, more falling on our faces and acid splashes doing zero damage. I'm sure we're okay there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so when last when last we left our intrepid adventurers, right? Okay, so um, the party had well, I'll use the word successfully in air quotes. Had successfully <laughs> taken on um, some blood cultists during uh, the um, the post cleanup, we'll say, of some type of a ceremony. Uh, I, I, I use air quotes because you know, according to the cultist point of view. Uh, four guys just started lobbing spells and crossbow bolts out of the dark while they were getting ready for tea. But um, they were able <laughs> they were able to take two such prisoners as a result of uh, Dato Quist's amazing, amazing spellcasting abilities of both putting half of the enemies to sleep and subsequently almost murdering the, uh, the head priest uh, in the process with a single uh, chromatic orb spell. Mm. Um, they had started to move up the, uh, after, I'm sorry, after questioning the cultists, they had found out that they probably should be moving, uh, from their current location. Uh, they started to move up the, uh, the tunnel and what do their, uh, do their eyes but fine, but little Jimmy appearing out of the darkness. <laughs> little Dark. Jimmy. Dark, is that you? Oh God! Daka, can you hear? Can you hear me, Daka? Is that little Jimmy? Daka, where, where, where are you? Oh my God! Oh my God, guys! It's little Jimmy. So little Jimmy comes out of the darkness, right? And we know little Jimmy from from our first first episode. I think our first episode, maybe second. We know little Jimmy as uh, as uh, the little fellow who was who had. Uh, captured the heart of Daka <laughs> while they were leaving uh, the town of Victor heading north towards the uh, Tillich Manor. Um, he doesn't look, he looks none the worse for wear, right? He's in a, he's in a little bit of a tattered cloak. He's got some, some leathers on that it looks like maybe he is scrounged from individuals, kind of sewed up a little bit. His belt looks oversized and he's had to, you know, notch in three or four holes to get it to fit around his little waist. Um, He's got a single um, um, sling hanging from one side and a long tooth dagger that almost, I don't want to call it a short sword for him, but a dagger is pretty big on this little kid. Um, <clears throat> it's not like a goblin sized dagger, it'd be a human sized dagger in this case. And he comes back out of the darkness. 
What what what's going on down here, guys? Did you see the thigh little fucking rat? <laughs> <laughs> it's really dangerous, Jimmy. We've got to go. We've got to go right now. We've got to go right now. Uh, Eliod and Flago, you can you can help him. We've, we've got to get out of here right now. Come on, guys. Okay, so what is, so at this point you guys are, you know, he's come out of the darkness, obviously. How, tell me about how we're handling these prisoners really quick. Just a quick overview, you don't have to make a big speech of it. How are, how are we ensuring that these individuals, obviously one is tied up to a point, one is manacled. There's yeah. four of you and now little Jimmy. Well, I mean, Jimmy and I are the, are the human, human fighters, aren't we? So I, I think we just manhandle one each. And, the useful ones, yeah, that's yeah. correct. And plus, you know, they, they don't want to hang around to, to see the worm get them anyway, right? So it's not as if they're, like, fully resistant or anything, is it? We're just... We no, just no, they're to... not. So they're not being resistant. In fact, you find they're kind of walking with you as if they're, mm. you know, they don't... They don't want to be left behind here. You know, they're, they know <laughs> that their buddies are all dead. They've got two... They've got a, a party of four, four and a half now, who uh, have, have, have managed to, to, to shackle them and or... And or uh, you know, capture them. They are moving with you. They're not actively working against you. They're not, they don't seem like they're going to shout out anything. They're just like, dude, let's get the hell. They're very focused. I reckon uh, Flago should be behind because he can turn invisible if he gets stuck. Can, should stay behind? Mm. Not stay behind, but be behind. Won't it be a bit okay, too so, late um... to turn invisible if he gets attacked? No. I mean, you just right, have... so once again, we'll do the simple marching order. We don't have to move everybody. Um, Jim, actually, uh, well, Elliot's got the torch, right? Are you going to hand that back to Jim, or how are you going to handle this? Well, Jim's got a prisoner, right? Like, can he help, can he hold a torch as well? Yeah, because again, okay. there, there's not a, a the big classes. struggle going on. Sure. You know, I'm sure he's he's very comfortable, you know, handling a prisoner and one with his manacles. He knows where to hold those manacles to kind of force. <laughs> um, get you know. <laughs> Given that I can see in the dark, then I, I hand the torch back to, to Dagger. Dagger, would you like the torch? Yes, thank you, Eliod the Nom. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, so, yeah, okay, so, so Dagger, without, you don't have to drag everybody with you. Um, just go ahead and, and, and move forward uh, 30 feet at a time here. So, yeah, right, would, at, it, at this point, nothing's going on yet. You go ahead and follow him if you want, guys. Don't worry, I'll bring up the prisoners and little Jimmy if something happens. Okay. So, yeah, go ahead and go of, ahead another 30. It kind of makes sense that, like, um, I would say it makes sense that Flagel's in the lead, right? Because Flagel's got the biggest night vision of any of us, just in case something, uh, something bad happens, is what I was thinking. You can Why definitely do that if you want. It? Mine and Elliot's night vision is the same. Yeah. Oh, you've got the same night vision. Well, there you go. What? One of the little ones could lead, maybe, uh, with better night vision. What do you mean? Because I want to go in the back. Sorry, what do you mean? The Dakar has always wanted to... Ooh, what, what little Jimmy rolling for? No. Little Jimmy was not rolling. That was me trying to roll, and I just had Little Jimmy clicked. I apologize. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. He is the worm. Don't worry, Lil. He's not going to be transforming into anything. <laughs> all right, so you're clear all the way to the rats, guys. Go ahead and take yourselves up. All right. I can't see any rats. Uh, they were around here, weren't they? I'm pretty sure. All the rats up. Oh, I killed. <laughs> Holy shit, Flogel stop got that fast. I moved him up there. Oh, right. <laughs> I, I want to make sure that uh, he, uh, Dado wasn't moving much, so I just started moving him. Oh, thanks, man. No, no worries. Okay, so at this point, is there anything? I mean, we're back to kind of a position. What is, what's the, give me a little insight into what the party, you haven't heard anything behind you. You haven't felt any rumbling, nothing like that. It's it's very, the, the tunnel is, is, I don't want to say it's completely silent. You have some echoes going on as you step. You're trying to step quietly, but inevitably you move some stones and some rock here or there. Every now and then you can hear a, a soft water drip or the soft movement of air through the tunnels itself. 
Well, look, if, if this was a movie, we'd wait until the last possible fucking second, but I don't think we should dawdle just because we can't hear any sounds of impending doom. Yeah. <laughs> I, think should, I think we should be... Uh... This was a movie. <laughs> yeah. I'm okay. unconvinced by the veracity of the cultist's claims, but we have nothing to lose by getting out of here, right? Mm. Unless it is a trick, and they want us to get out of there so that they can do something, but... An ambush? Hmm, but I don't know, man. We know that there's like there's something going on, right? We know there's giant rats. We know there's giant boars. We know they're doing some kind of sacrifice or whatever. I think it's it's safe to giant assume. Giant boars. Yeah, boars. Giant boars. Oh, boars. Okay. Boars. <laughs> boars. <laughs> so I think it's safe to assume that there could be something supernatural um, in this neck of the woods. Even if it is just a 22-foot earthworm. <laughs> Can we take a rat with us for bait? You've, um, we so, have rat um, parts. Yeah, you, you currently have two rat legs from mm. <laughs> from when Jim had had, had delimbed them, <laughs> tripping them. <laughs> but it, but if there's you know if it's a if it's a large worm, like is, is it going to be bothered about a rat leg? Yeah. You know, what about you know a bunch of rats? You know maybe that pique its interest. <laughs> did um did we take a look up here? I think it was a dead end. I think I think Daedal uh, saw it, but we couldn't because we were we were. Uh blind. no, we didn't uh, see the end of that tunnel. No, didn't see the end of that tunnel. Mm. Mm. We just went mm. the other direction. I mean, but it is now the time. No, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah, I, I'm okay. I, with I think I, th I think we away. need to check that out, um, but we can't do it with these two assholes with us. Whoa! Don't talk about Elliot and Daka. Hey, hey, Daka, what, what's up here, man? Look up here. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Um, the, the child is escaping. Okay. Well, somebody, one of one of the little people. Should uh should get should collect little Jimmy and you know get him <laughs> the back. little people <laughs> one of the little people yeah Jimmy come here follow me don't <laughs> side get sidetracked no 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 I just want to know what's up there what? <laughs> this place is crazy I've never been underground like this do you want to die come here no I don't want to die yeah come here <laughs> oh my god this place is dangerous dude did you guys know that that two guys followed you out of town. Ooh. We did not, little Jimmy. Could you give us any more information about these two people? Well, when when I was when I was when you guys was leaving after we had that conversation, and you guys was 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 taken off with the caravan, two guys followed you, and I followed them. That's why I'm here. Mm. How, how how are these two strangers dressed? Did they carry any weapons? Well, yeah. I mean, they've been around town for a little while. You They're just a couple. I mean, there's, there's a guy and a gal, and the, you know, one's got a pretty sweet bow. Not a crossbow like you, Doc, and not a crossbow like you. But he's got a pretty cool bow, and the other guy's got a big ass hammer. I mean, it's a big fucking hammer. Was he a builder? I don't think you could build homes with this hammer. Fair, fair. A war hammer. Oh, Jimmy's amazing. dying. Amazing. I love little Jimmy. No, it's like it's like a big like. I mean, it looked like a. So see his axe, and he points over to um, points over to the meat shop. It's bigger than his axe. Oh shit! And w w d when when did you lose these two people? When did you uh, where, where did you last see them? I didn't lose them. Oh w wait, shit! Where are they? Where are they? Well, they, they they when when you guys came in, I I I came wide through the tweeds, and I wanted to make sure that I could tell you guys what was happening. So I followed you down in this little ladder place, and just to tell you, these guys are following you. So they're very close, then, is what you're saying. Well, I don't know, man. I just came to tell you guys. <laughs> well, thanks, little Jimmy. You did good. Now follow us. Yeah. We're going to get out here. Okay, so is there anything you guys want to do prior to your final, not your final departure, but your departure here? <laughs> final departure. <laughs> you know what I mean, from, from leaving the cave system. I mean, we need to get back to the cave system and explore that part later. Yeah, we can come back later though, can't we? I think we just need to get out of here. The problem is it's it's a rock and a hard place, friends, because there's a large earthworm down this tunnel and there are two 
uh, potential, you know, miscreants at the top of the ladder, maybe? You know, they, they could be waiting for us. If they catch us on the ladder, one has a bow, you know, we're in trouble, like. I don't, like whack -a I, I don't think they followed me into the house, because they kind of stayed hmm. out by the edges. Okay. Oh, you don't think they know which house we went into then? So when you, when you, um... The area, and you'll see it because there's a small um, farmhouse map that we're going to exit to right now. Um, the ladder is in a closet, and you guys, you know, you left the closet door open in order to get in, and there's a bedroom inside as well. So it's, if there was any type of an ambush to be happening, it would happen literally at the top of the ladder in about a five foot by seven foot space. It's not huge at all. Mm -hmm. So we should send Dimmy the warrior up first. Mm. <laughs> the only member of our party who is proficient in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Um, or like if you've got a, if you've got a big spell, or if if Daedal's got a invisibility left, he could well, go I first. Could go up the ladder. I could see if they're up there, and he starts to take a move towards the ladder. We could let we could oh. let a little. Oh, that's the best, isn't it? If a little Jimmy dies, no one gives a fuck. <laughs> He's an expendable asset. Wow. <laughs> Up you go, little Jimmy. That's a great idea. And so you're setting Jimmy up? Is this, is this in line with your character, Jimmy? <laughs> Jimmy. Um, no, it's not really, is it? No, to be fair. To be fair, it's a great idea, but no, I think... <laughs> I think I'm the only one who could get away with that, and I'm doubtful I could. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I it should be... I can, Doc, I can do this. It should be Flagel on me, I think, that goes up first. Uh, I'm gonna add, uh, just give me a second. Because we haven't had a rest post fighting the cultists. Yeah, it's only if you've got spell, if you've got spell slots left. Um, uh, I do not have, I have the spell slots for, I do have the Thunder Wave that crashes them away. Mm -hmm. That could be a useful spell in yeah, this situation. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Yeah. So, so I could I could go first. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. And then so I'll is go. Daka going first then? I'm sorry, is no, uh, I, is Fargo Snarp going first then? Yeah, and I want to sneak. I want to be as stealthy as I can. Okay, perfect. Give uh, me a um, give me a stealth roll, please. And again, I will not tell you what you're going up against if there's anything up there. Stealth plus four. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, being a goblin, plus your dexterity should be pretty solid, if I remember correctly. Yeah, 14. Sneaky goblin. No, 15. I'm sorry? My uh, my dexterity is 15. Oh, yeah, no, you're good. So you rolled a 20, which is a very solid roll, obviously. So um, this is not unakin to you, right? You've been in tunnels. There's ladder systems. In the goblin tunnels of the east, there's, you know, you know what you're doing, right? You're 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 smart enough. You you put your feet out wide on the ladder rungs so that you're not in the center of them, promoting any type of creeping. Been on the streets like for a long time, sneaking around. Yeah, you've been doing this a lot. This ain't my first time at a rodeo trying to avoid two big guys with guns. <laughs> wow. They have firearms. <laughs> they had a bow. Oh man! <laughs> as long as you don't have quaff bowls. <laughs> okay, so um, Flargo Scrub, you're the only one I've pulled over to the <laughs> quaff bowls. You're the only one I've pulled over to this current map. Um, I can't see the map. Oh, you can't see it? You should be over there already. No, I'm still down in the tunnel. Oh, yeah. Oh. No, wait, now it's loading for mouse. Oh, oh, I'm in the... Oh, oh no. Ah, uh, yeah, so we don't own any tokens. Or shouldn't be able, you three shouldn't be able to see anything yet? Yeah, yeah correct. correct, yeah. Alright. Uh, I'll move forward here. Okay, so one thing you do notice right away you guys left this bedroom door open when you were going down the tunnel. Or at least you did when the rest of the party followed you. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna try and uh, 
move towards the door um, without making any noise. Yep, and then listen. Yourself. You're still considered stealthy as far as uh, as far as you know. And listen uh, to see if I can hear anything on the other side. Of the door. All right, give me a perception roll, please. Um, You hear nothing. <laughs> uh, well, having heard nothing, I'm going to try and uh, peek, um, peek open the door to see if I can see anything. Okay, so you're, are you going to open? Okay, so give me, no, in this totally case, give open, me... Just like, just like, yeah. Uh, so give me way. another stealth roll. This isn't for you. This is for can I open the door stealthily in a manner that allows me to peek yeah, out? Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, baby. <laughs> Fuck yes, I can. <laughs> All right, so there's your. Are you, are you seeing your current view there? Uh, sorry, I'm very zoomed in. <laughs> that's okay. Uh, yeah, I can see, uh, yep. I can so see that's your see you, you see similar to the house that you left. There's the furniture on the right-hand side, the used fireplace in front of you. Yeah, there's no one there, so I'm going to try and sneak out. How far are you going to move? Um, tell me where, tell me just where a you're refresher moving. course. Um, what do I remember about this room? <laughs> the layout. <laughs> okay, so what you can see here, so the the room goes around to you, from your perspective, the room goes around the corner to the left or camera right as we look at the screen, right? Yeah. That extends another 20, 25, 30 feet. Then there's a front door. There's another bedroom further on where the door is broken open to it. Yeah. Um, there's, <clears throat> excuse me, there's also around the corner, if you will, next to the front door is another door that opens into an, a secondary bedroom that you searched earlier. All right. So the, the initial area is safe then, right? So it could come down and I'm tell sorry, us. say again? The initial area is safe then, right? So it could but come You don't know that yet. No, no, I'm, I'm um, moving out into the room. Uh to to scout the uh, I need to scout the building right before I come down there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. At that point, a blood cultist swings down on you with a scimitar with an overhand stroke. All right. What can I do to dodge that? <laughs> I Nothing have, right like... now. You've been surprised. But he didn't see me coming. I'm still the. No, he well, he was just waiting there for anything to come around the corner. His his attack of opportunity was anything that comes around this corner. I'm striking. All right. All so right if, yeah. if he would have pushed his buddies in front of the corner first, he would have struck them too. <laughs> so he swings down, and from your natural stealthy goblinness, blah blah blah, you're able to swing yourself to the side. It's just there was a sixth sense almost, and that and his scimitar swings down and hits the floor in front of you. All right. Um, Go ahead and open your combat tracker. What's the combat and roll, tracker? And roll for um, roll for initiative, please. Oh yeah. Um, well, all of us is just Dado. Just no, Dado. You guys don't know what's going on yet. Remember, it's a sixty foot ascent up that ladder, so it's not like you're like in a basement and you're hearing kerfuffle. Okay, so Flargo Snarp, you're up first with your action, brother. All right. Um... Now remember, you have um, you have the natural ability to um, disengage without incurring an attack of opportunity as a bonus action. Remember, as as, a, as being a goblin. Yeah, I just want to remind you of that. I, uh, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. So I can use that to get past this guy and in between them both, right? I'm sorry, say again? I can use that uh, to get past this guy and place myself in between this. Like Absolutely, here. you could. Yep. You definitely could do yeah. that if you want. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Uh, 
Is that like a roll I do to, no. to? All right. So then I just do that. I say like a trait or. Er, um. Okay, it's out the action. door. It's a bonus action that I can do every time, right? Out the door, you see another um, another cultist from your view. Can you see it there through the door? Oh yeah, yeah. So now there's three here. All right. Um, well, I'm gonna need to use the uh, the uh, this spell. Um, There's no other like thing I have because like the sleep spell doesn't do anything since they they've already seen me, right? Correct. No. No, no, no. Well, we'll Actually, the no, no, you can spell still. The... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, you're good. I could put them to sleep instead. Um, yeah, I think that's what I need to do. I need to put them to sleep instead. All right, so you're going to cast sleep, correct? Yeah. Um, And I don't have a level one spell. Uh, or a level two spell, so it's gonna have to be level one. Okay, brilliant. Right there, so that, I will I brilliant. will reveal so for purposes, go ahead. Uh, 5d. Okay, so 26 total points. Is there anything I can do with the inspiration here? Not with this, no. That would be for either an attack roll or a roll of um, a skill check, something along those lines. Typically, it's almost always going to be something you roll a roll a d twenty on. All right, all right. Where the hell is my sleep? There we go. Give me one second. How did I... Or there you are. Jesus. All the way at the very bottom. So the two cultists inside the home both fall to the floor, slumped over, drop their weapons, prone on the floor. Is that the end of your turn, Dadle? I'm trying to think. I can't also close the door out, right? Which door? The door that leads no, out. No, because that would be considered an action. Your action was your spell. You still have 15 feet of movement, but your action was your spell. All right. Your bonus action was your disengage. Well... Yeah, I'm gonna have to move back. Securing <laughs> the LZ. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, moving forward. Um, so this cult is, is, is unconscious. Is there? Any way I can alert the others without waking these guys? Yeah, loud noises do not, unless there is a physical jarring or damage taken, there's nothing that will w awaken them from their slumber. 
Alright, then I'll yell at the end of my turn. Uh, they may come up first. Uh, Elliot, follow help. Okay, so th since there's you, you are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. You're 25 feet from the tunnel entrance, and they're 60 feet down. So there's obviously the sound waves are going to be traveling. So we're going to have one roll for this. Who's got the highest perception out of the three of you? I probably do. Um, yeah, I, I can't check the sheets. Yeah, I can't check sure. with sheets. Yeah. Oh, I apologize. Hold on one sec, guys. I got 11 plus one. Yeah, I think I've got about plus four or something. Don't move your characters from there, please. I'm just bringing you into um, at the top of the ladder. We'll we'll roll you into the combat as you start coming up. If you start coming up, that way you can open up your character sheets. Yeah, Glorious. plus three for me. Yeah, plus four for me. All right, so roll me a perception check with advantage because all three of you are actively listening. Like, okay, something's going to be going on up there. Sixteen, not bad. Okay, so you hear something. You hear it's not a um, it's not a um. Oh shit! I forgot. Oh, God. It's all right, dude. It's not a uh, a, a call for you. You don't discern it as a call for an alert. You hear Flargo Snarp's very you know um, familiar voice up top of the ladder, but you can't discern what it is that's just too far away, but you do hear it. Right. Well, I'm climbing. It does not sound, I will say this, he does not sound like he's at the top of the ladder. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I think I think uh, Daka would would go first and just climb up. Heroically. Okay, so it'll take you one turn to get to the top of the ladder, we'll say. Mm. We'll say you're clambering up that ladder, your movement is 30 feet, 60 feet, tw doubled. I'm not going to make any rolls on that. It's a secure ladder. You've been up and down it already. Daka, what about your prisoner? It's a good question. I don't know. I'll, I'll take him. I'll, I'll take two. Can you handle uh, Daka, two prisoners, Dimitriov? Daka, oh. roll your um, initiative. It's now in the combat tracker, please. Okay, okay. Oh. I don't even begin to imagine how do we get... Elliot and Dimmy, you're allowed to. You're allowed your movements as well. Initiative? Well, how do I roll initiative? Oh, what, what, sorry. If you uh, open oh. the combat tracker, Jim, which is the two swords, you should have a little... There you go. Oh, Wait. look at this guy. Wait. <laughs> Pretty fantastic. But, but me and Dimitri are still oh, at the bottom of the ladder for now, right? Right. Currently, you are. Yeah. Everybody's at the bottom of the ladder. Daka is now in the room off of the ladder. D Dimitriov, what should we do with the hostages? Do we ascend the ladder and leave them here? Or we can't take them with us, surely? No, I'll force them up. Like, so if you go up, then they'll go up. Then I'll go up. Okay, okay. I'm so familiar. I begin to ascend the ladder. And then I sort of get... So Elliot, uh, Elliot ascends? I do, yeah. Yeah, and then I get my axe out and send up the two tied up guys. What about little Jim? How, how do they climb the ladder manacles? <laughs> <laughs> it may, like that, isn't it? <laughs> okay, Elliot, I've added you to the combat tracker if you roll for initiative. <laughs> Stop, like, you could still climb a ladder with handcuffs on. Okay, uh... then Dimitri, what are you doing, sir? Dimitriov, what are you doing? I'm sending the two prisoners up and then I'm following up behind them, if, if that's good. Okay, so small sidebar here. So they both look at you and are like, how in the hell am I supposed to climb a ladder with my hands behind my back? Uh, well, I'll... And little Jimmy goes, I'll go, I'll go next. I'll go, I'll go next. Well, well, can't we, like, unmanacle him and manacle him from the front so, like, he can go up? Okay, so Daka's got the keys to the manacles. Oh, you could God. do that. You could take an extra turn and retie the second cultist's hands in front of him. Yes. Well, I'll do that then. I'll tie the hands. Okay, in front. so one is being retied. Again, the other cultist is not like trying to run off or anything. He's like very much like, I don't want to say he's fearful. He's just like, all right, I'm not, I'm not going anywhere because, again, he doesn't even know where to go at this point if he were to just run off. Um, secondly, he's got manacles tied behind his back, so it's much different than if somebody were to have rope behind their back that they could cut on a rock or something. So we could just leave one down there, then? Could just leave him down there. Mm. Yeah, no, maybe just got... leave both down there, yeah. 
No, could leave think... one, right? Bring one up so that we've at least got one, and then we could, uh, you know, split the difference. Well, I don't. So I'm, I'm up the top now, so it's not. It's not for me to say. <laughs> True, yeah. Dimmy, Dimmy's okay, so um, so Elliot's at the top. Um, Dimmy is making some maneuvers at the bottom, and uh, little Jimmy is just hanging out with 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 Dimitriov right now. He's kind of looking at Dimitriov for guidance, if you will, because now that Doc is gone. This blood fanatic moves in through the uh, through the door and takes a swing at Dadel. What fucking far does he? Thirty reach? feet, brother. All right, does a fourteen hit? Uh, you tell me. No, it's your um thingy. Your no, shield. your armor class is a fifteen, so no, he does not. So again, he. He pulls that dagger out and comes with a plunging strike, right? But your little mm -hmm. goblin, uh, your your little goblin reactions, you slight, you you move slightly out of the way, and that dagger misses your left shoulder blade by mere mere inches. Is that Total all snarf, you you're up. <laughs> uh... I'm yelling again, Jimmy. Dimmy, Elliot, help. And then, uh... Okay, Daka, on your turn, you hear that. You hear that crystal clear. Glorious. Uh... You know, did you did you say, um, uh, Jack Bull, that the cultists dropped their scimitars when they fell asleep? When they did, yeah. These, the two who were asleep, yes. They, they, just saying, did they dropped their scimitars when they fell asleep. <laughs> Watch point. Well, you could pick them up so that when they would get more, I'm, I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the little goblin is going to pick up the scimitar. <laughs> yeah. What are you going to do, Florida? It's an idea, isn't get it? a reaction out of your brother. Yeah, I know. This is where it's difficult to decide what I'm going to do. Um, well, I guess I'm going to try and pick up the scimitar. And uh, take a swing at the cultist in front of me. Okay, so picking up the scimitar would be an action move, so you would not gain the benefit. You would not be able to attack. All right. If I slip out my dagger, is that you can do action? that? Yes, because that's on your person. Right. You don't have to make a maneuver for it. Yeah. Cheers. I'm just gonna slip out my dagger and take a stab at him then, at his feet right. or at his feet. ankles. <laughs> I mean, I don't reach any like. I know, I, I know what you mean. <laughs> in the chest. Go ahead and make your attack roll, or uh, make sure that you that's target the uh, fanatic. Him. That's how I get him down on the ground, right? He's asleep. Yeah, I'm just he, moving him so they're him. easier to target. Um, the the cultist yeah, that's asleep is underneath his legs. All oh, right, there's an awake one and an asleep one, right? Okay. Yeah. Is it targeted? It is now, yes. There. And then uh, I click uh, what? On your character Inventory? sheet, click dagger and then hit attack. Inventory, yeah, there. <laughs> More damn it, know what the target. <laughs> Okay, so um, the, right, the can I the, use the, my inspiration for this one? <laughs> if you yeah, if you want to, definitely you can use your inspiration and, and get a second roll because yeah. that first one did miss. Yeah, I'm using my inspiration. Uh, I clicked inspiration. Perfect. Now just attack. just hit the yeah. attack roll again on the dagger. All right. Cheers. Okay, so so that's him. So so we see the movie scene right where the dagger comes down and misses and then. <laughs> And it like reverses, and then the, the dagger comes back yeah. through, striking him right in the thigh. Go ahead and roll for damage. No, not in the thigh. I want to slice his uh, his uh, shins. So okay, that so he you falls slice down on you the ground. slice across his shins instead. Go ahead and roll for damage. Yeah, I'm so glad he said shins. <laughs> no, right? <laughs> so so he uh, falls down on the ground. That's the goal, right? With attacking his legs. Um. Roll damage there. Sorry. 
for six points. Nice, six points of damage. I, I hit him not actually in the shins, but I sliced the shit out of his, uh, like what's it called, like the, the <laughs> most sensitive tendon, the... penis. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was waiting no. for Dimmy. The, the uh, yeah, like the uh, the right above the Achilles, like yeah, the penis, wrists, and the, no, the, 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 the ankles, oh, the ankles. Oh. yeah, the ankles, the Achilles so, penis. Okay, Eli I, Elliot, my friend, you are up, sir. I'm gonna move Daka down one just so we can get you. I just hit perfectly across his ankles. It's not oh. letting me separate you. Can you can you grab yourself? I, I, there? I, I can move. Yeah, I can move. Okay. So I move ten feet over here. Wait, is this door open or closed? Well, can you see through it? Yes. Then it's open. Yeah. If okay. it's, I'll show you what closed looks like really quick. Wait, ah, Elliot's okay. moving before me. Yeah, you rolled. Um, you rolled all of your um, your initiatives when it was the Blood Fanatics turn at right. nineteen. Oh man! So you came up, rolled. Mm. Elliot came up, rolled. Dice. It was still his part, his his portion of that turn. Dice. <laughs> Elliot, I was just quick, <laughs> flying, darting. Well, past yeah, he's you. a little gnome, dude, right? He flew up that ladder <laughs> and then right underneath the little Daka's uh, low hanging fruit, <laughs> and then straight through the door. <laughs> Um, Can we now communicate? Because, like, Elliot sees me, right? Hello, Flargle Snarp. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> what, what, you what, see, so, you what? see Flargle Snarp slashing aggressively at a target <laughs> you can't see. What? No, but I, but I, yeah. <laughs> all, all I can see is Flargle Snarp. Yeah, maybe he's carving his name into the wall or something. I, I can't see <laughs> what he's attacking or anything like that. All, all I see is him. Cultists, help. Cultists! I call to Daka Cultists! Oh! Uh, <laughs> do, do we have to, like, yeah, do make rolls to see if this, like, is the whisper game? <laughs> to see if, like, no. the. <laughs> Daka, <laughs> tell the Debbie that the Cultists break up here on the table. <laughs> right. I yell out of sequence because I got shafted by rolling well. <laughs> this Cultists, Dim Dimitriov, this Cultists. <laughs> yeah, there's two down here as well. There's more up here. <laughs> so, so out of character, I've I've now advanced sort of into corner contact with this guy. But in fact, a I'm wall. not even gonna shout. I'm not gonna shout. So, I'm not um, gonna shout. Uh, am I in like Take contact with him? Yeah, I'm gonna allow that um, because okay. it's. I, I don't like every now and then we'll have a situation where you will have like a five foot cavern where the three of you can mm. kind of get across it and like so. I do allow corner to corner combat. Yes. Okay. So can I can I equip my mace and uh, try and, and noble him? And try to what? Attack the cultist. <laughs> noble him. What, you say? what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's it's. I know. I just tried. It says my target is blocked by a wall. Oh, can I? I can't go on top of Daedal. <laughs> hey, we're, we're small, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, could, I, I clamber yeah. onto Daedal Quist's, uh, sorry, onto Flagel Snarp's shoulders to attack the <laughs> to attack the cultist uh, 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 on the head. <laughs> Did you just spring <laughs> up on me? <laughs> can I can I make a, a an agility okay, I'm check? I'm gonna just move you there so that you can make the attack. No, I'd, I'd, can I, I'd like to make an agility check. Alien <laughs> mounts. <Please. needle. laughs> Are you? Is this is this a true thing that you're trying I, to do? I, I think so. I, I I mean I can't reach. I mean I appreciate the the cheat, but I just can't get over there. Right? Like it's either no, I. It's, it's not a cheat. I'm gonna move well, you back. This is just so you can make. You, you can oh, you can okay. share a square because you're both small, right? Like it's only. Yeah. No, can... technically they can't only because. Um, you'd have to be. Uh, oh, can you okay. not? Well, if if you but... say I can attack through the wall, then fine. I'll just. Yeah, attack you are allowed. Yeah. It. That's just one of the things that 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 the game is blocking, so you can't literally attack from a room to a room. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. I damn it. I've I've was That's on the okay. wrong You're screen. Fine. I've just done... your attack there. <laughs> 17. Get, get back Very up. Very nice. Roll your damage. Uh, I I very accurately smack the coldest on the knee, but not very hard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So your 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 mace swings as, as you see. Um, Dadel sees you coming. Uh, your mace starts swinging over the top of him slightly high. 
Dadel definitely dodges his, his head down underneath it like a boxer in training, right? And that mace comes over the top of him and knocks him right in his friggin' kneecap. Um, it, it, it's, uh, it's a little bit of an off-balance off, uh, off hit, so it doesn't do much damage, but you connect. But this guy, like, now he's hit in both his uh, legs, right? How is he still standing? Very easily. He took roughly three <laughs> plus nine points of damage. <laughs> Very easily. Very easily. D&D &D has no rules for, like, damage, essentially. <laughs> like, you, you, fight at full, you fight at full capacity until you're dead. <laughs> or Not necessarily, Jim. So sometimes I will have, like, if there's... Um, extreme cases of damage. So I'll give you a brief example before we move on. You cast a fireball spell, or somebody does, and somebody is burned within two hit points of their life. I'm going to take that into uh, effect. Well, Jack right? Bull can, but there's no rules in the game, right? Correct. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Okay, Elliot, if you'll end your move there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cultist number whatever is asleep. Asleep. Daka, my friend, you're up. Oh, glorious. Let's go. Right. Can I walk five at a time? Say again? Can I go five at a time? You like... can do whatever you like, absolutely. Okay. 15, Just right, remember that 20. if you move over 30 feet, that absorbs your action. And go 30, and get to here. And then Glorious. shoot this guy in the face. Shoot? In the at this range? Face, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, this is a disadvantage. It's not disadvantage, because I've got crossbow expert. Oh, that's true. Thank you. Uh, make sure you target, please. Jesus, oh, yeah. thank you. Yep, there we go. Right, there we go. Boom. So when 19 hits, you strike him dead center. Roll for damage, please. Not great. <laughs> I love your guys' dice this round so far. <laughs> and then I will bonus attack shoot him again. We've all, we've all successfully hit him, so that's a plus. Yep. Pew. Oh. That one does strike him. Whoa. Just barely. So <laughs> as, he, as he takes the first crossbow round to the chest, he kind of slide. He kind of slides back a little bit, and the second one would have hit him like maybe dead center, dead center of his neck, and it just instead cuts right through the side of his neck as he kind of is falling to the side. So it barely strikes him, but does very good damage. Whoa. Do I get him? Diced. He's taken 24 points of damage. He's a badass, right. isn't he? Fuck. Doctor, go ahead and forward your, forward your oh, yeah. uh, end of turn, please. Uh, how do I pop out the thing? Right click it. Uh, right click on the swords. Yep. Got it. And then you can oh, move it thanks. to the bottom, move it around anywhere you want. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Pew, pew. Glorious. There is Dimmy at some point, isn't there? Wait, some... there was one more blood fanatic that I didn't see. Yeah, he was outside around the corner. Disgusting. He heard all of the commotion inside, and then he ran inside. All right, so this blood cultist here is now going to um, is now seeing that uh, he's got three adversaries ahead of him. We're gonna, I'm gonna do. Our, he's he's near dead. He just took. He took a dagger to the to the Achilles. He took a a, uh, a mace to the to the kneecap. He used to be well, he used to be a blood a blood fanatic, and then he took a mace to the knee. <laughs> um, so let me roll a d6. One, it'll go from top to bottom. One, two, Elliot. Uh, three, four, Flargol. Five, six, Daka. Okay, swings uh -oh. at Elliot. Phew. Oh, easy. All right, so easy. his, so his, yeah, his dagger. He's, he's he's off balance. He's just been he's had the shit kicked out of him for the last six seconds. Um, that <laughs> dagger swing goes right over the top of Elliot's head. Most things do, to be fair. Yeah, he's <laughs> not. Uh, he's not. There. He's not used to fighting small guys like us. <laughs> <laughs> 
He moves alongside me, goes straight after Daka. Wow. Diced. Comedy Mega. Wait, did he attack Daka? 23? That might hit. And his dagger gets Daka right in one of his arms, probably his left arm, as he comes around from the right hand side with a with a jab. Five points of damage, Daka. Oof. See, instantly, as soon as they attack a human, they connect. <laughs> no, it wow. just diced, isn't it? Diced the most dice man in D and D. I'm the least ma diced man in D and D. <laughs> All right, Flargo Scarp, you're up, sir. Oh, uh, yes, that's why I'm the least diced man. <laughs> okay, um, uh, Demi, right at the end of this combat turn, we'll come back to you. Well, I don't have much choice, right? Other than keep stabbing uh, with the dagger. <laughs> <laughs> I just have this little image. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I'm gonna... Wait, no. Wait, I, what? It's this here. I so the font of magic. Um, am I allowed to now convert like to spell slot? Uh, yeah, you can. That's part of. That's one of your abilities as a sorcerer, right? All right. So I I like can be able to like cast another level two spell. Right. So how many sorcery points do you use here for that? Uh, wait, I'm gonna check. Um, you have two sorcery points converting. Okay, so um, two sorcery points to make a first level spell, three to make a second. Yeah, exactly. So I have three points. Uh... So I'm gonna I'm gonna use them uh, to create a level two spell. Okay. So uh, left click on font of magic. It'll say use ability, so it drains the uses. Uh, cheers. Perfect. Um, what spell are you know, making? A level two spell, and I'm casting uh, the chromatic orb. Uh, Oh, wait, wrong. At the South Cultist. Okay, so I added a level two spell to your spell book so you can click your chromatic orb and up it. Cheers. Uh, attack, is it? Yes, because it, it is an attack roll. Have you targeted the correct one you want to hit? Yeah. Okay, beautiful. You strike him right. You so you so you yeah. use this font of magic, you right? See how tall that was. <laughs> what you say? <laughs> it's pretty cool. Oh, oh. So you 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 um you pull you pull <laughs> you pull out your little you you sheave your dagger right. You pull out your little uh whatever your your pouch of magical <laughs> whatever yeah. the fuck it is right. All your your uh your smelling salts or whatever. Start shaking it around. Create another spell, and shoot this friggin' thing Jeez, right in his face. Know. So go ahead and roll damage. Uh, no, what? Why does okay, it you may have, say Did you cast three. it at a lower level? No, I cast I it actually, at No, no, you didn't. Okay, two. so... So it that's... Be, it should be supposed yeah, to be... Yeah, one sec, four, so... What's four, your damage? So what should your yeah, damage right, be? I'm adding, I'm adding three uh, d8s to that. <laughs> Oh come on! <laughs> okay, so it's it's one d8 for the spell, and one d8 for every slot above. So it's two d8 for that actually. Oh, three no, it's, it's three d8 for the spell. I'm yeah. sorry, three d8. Yeah, yeah for that. So four, thank you. So four all together, yeah. So eleven on four d8. That's <laughs> that's pretty oh, crap. <laughs> that's pretty crap. Two ones and a three, and then an average roll. Did you kill him? Out it. This is the. Uh, well, it could have, but no, no. It's okay, and then what else are you doing in your turn here, Flargle? So you used your action. No, that can't have killed him. Um, 
Yeah, I used my action, so... Uh, I mean, it's better to have them attack all three of us, so I'm not gonna disengage. All right, Elliot, your turn, sir. Well, I keep bonking the cultists with a mace. Do I need to... Does equipping my shield take an action or anything? Or... I'll let you pull it. I'll let you um, yank that shield around. It's just on your back. You're 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 accomplished in this. Okay, I I whip my shield off me back. Did, and just make sure you equip it so it changes your AC. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so can I can I like move? I, I want to stay here, but I want to attack him right. So. Yeah. So just un untarget him, and uh -huh. then you can just hit your weapon, and it'll allow you to roll it anyway. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I've just I figured that out with um, with the other one, and then I'll just obviously adjust as need. Okay, so you swing that mace once again, right? A Flargo Snarp cast this spell as he um, as he ducks down in order to 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 yank all of the magical ability from his loins <laughs> and, and, and shoots him with with a uh, with his chromatic orb, and then at the same time your mace swings right over the top of his head, striking him in yet his other kneecap. We'll roll for damage. We're proficient in this. Like we see our opportunities and take them. <laughs> oh, he's still alive. This fucking guy. I mean, you guys are pummeling the living bit shit out of him. In all fairness, <laughs> but yes, he is still alive. Why are they so strong? They're fucking henchmen. Okay, now we're back to um, we're back to Dimitriov. Dimitriov, so you have successfully tied the second individual's hands in front of him. Yep. You still have the second cultist who has uh, manacles behind him, and you have little Jimmy at your at your left kneecap. Uh, I I want to tie the second guy's hands the other way if that's possible, and then send I'm sorry, him you want to do what? Uh, I want I I, I want to tie the second cultist's hands like so he can climb up the ladder as well. Like he's manacled. Like, he's manacled. Yeah, he's manacled. Uh, Remember, Daka has the manacle keys. Hmm. I'll send you little, want to, go ahead. I'll send, I'll send little Jimmy up. I'm gonna send little Jimmy up. <laughs> this is gonna screw us so bad. <laughs> okay, so um, the three of you notice little Jimmy scurrying out of the little bedroom. Oh god. Yeah. Okay. We uh, pick up uh, So Jimmy rolls out of the bedroom. Jimmy rolls out of the bedroom, and these little wide eyes just friggin' you know open up. And he's, he, as he's looking, as 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 he sees his three biggest heroes, not including uh, Dimitriov, his, his three biggest heroes taking on the blood uh, the cultists in front of him. Holy shit! What are you uh, What are you doing there, Dimitriov? Uh, what am I coming up behind him then? I guess. I don't know. Are you? Mm. What do you reckon? Mm. Mm -hmm. I don't want. Yes, yeah, I'll come up. I'll come up behind. I'll come up behind. Uh, the ladder. Okay, so I've added you to the combat tracker. Open it up and roll for your initiative. It'll take you one turn to get to the top of the ladder, being at sixty feet. Uh, initiative. And next up is this this blood fanatic. So this blood fanatic is going to swing a dadle again. Do you see it there, Dimitriov? I can't see anything. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. I haven't attacked. Oh, I'm sorry, Daka. Jesus, I apologize. <laughs> yes, you're right. You're at the top. I'm sorry. One second. Thank you. <laughs> Daka, you're up. I apologize. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. Right, I'll target this guy who's near death. Try and try and take him out. There should be a cultist up here as well. A prisoner. I'll pull him up. Oh, but wait, did you send him up? Oh, I might miss the... Yeah, there's oh, no, one. No, you did not send him up. Thank no. you. You only sent up little Jimmy. Oh, no, no. It was the one that I tied differently that it was gone up, but I've left one behind, so I took one up and one behind. Okay, so that crossbow bolt misses again right over his shoulder. He took that nice. hit from Eliad, and as he kind of reached down, as, as, as that strike hits him, your crossbow bolt flies right over his shoulder. Mm, so we've determined again, that... Again, barely the... missing. I mean, so... barely missing. Yep, so we've determined that the AC of the blood cult, blood fanatic is 13. <laughs> yes, yes, you have. You have ascertained. <laughs> right, and of course, bonus action. Try and pop him again. Let's, let's get this bastard out of here. Got him. Okay, that one gets him. Roll for damage, please. Oh, 
surely he's dead. Glorious. And we'll, we'll of course, do I, do, do, do I see little Jimmy out of the corner of my eye, out of the peripherals? Yeah, you guys, I mean, you're, you're, you're fully aware, unless there is something that is going on specifically that draws your attention to a specific side, or the NPC or character has a specific skill that allows them to sneak up behind you, I assume that you have pretty well... You know what's going on, right? It's not that hard for you to turn your head one way or another 30 right. degrees. So obviously once I shoot this guy in the face, I'm like, <laughs> did you see that quaffbo chat? <laughs> he, he, looks, he looks up, that was fucking sick. <laughs> I'll say, stay back, stay back, Jimmy. <laughs> and Jimmy kind of uh, nut, nut, nuddles into this corner over here. Okay, so thank you for um, for calling me out on that uh, on that combat tracker. Thanks, Jim. I, I didn't see at the top. I apologize. No problem. So this blood fanatic now seeing that you just oh man, put your put your little um, put your little red circle over your lips again. What? Put your little dot on top of the lips of Daka, and I'll show you what I just saw for a second. My little dot. Your cursor. Cursor. Yeah, your cursor. Thank yeah, my you. Cursor's Oh, top. okay. It looked like you had lipstick on for a second. <laughs> okay, so, so this blood fanatic is going to swing at Daka again. Okay, oh, with a critical hit. hit. So <laughs> your, your, um, your two shots, you were really bearing down on this guy. And as you took that second shot that just that diced his buddy, right? <laughs> he comes up with a double handed, like um, one, one hand is on the bottom of the pommel right up into your friggin' chest from below your arms. Oof. Six points of damage to you. Ouch. Oh man, down to 13. Okay, Largo Snarp is up next. He's obviously on a phone call, so he'll take his damage, his um, dagger strike again to this blood cultist. I'm sorry, to this blood fanatic. He strikes. Six points of damage. This guy's man, nice. he's doing good. Nice. The exception of that spell. Elliot the Nam, you are up, my friend. Oh, uh right, so I can't move. Uh can I, can you I move? Can. So you are so you are allowed to move through friendly characters. Oh, okay, okay, cool. And since now, in this case, just want to point something out. You are not leaving his uh, sphere of influence. Uh huh. Yes, so I can't go any further. Moving parallel to him does not incur oh. an attack of opportunity. Uh, ah. Oh. No. So, so, so can I can I move there without incurring an attack of opportunity? Yes. I can. As oh, long wow, as you're okay. staying within his his realm uh, of, of of influence. So it's not like uh, Blood Bowl then. No. Fucking run bad. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Of course, I forgot that. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> so are you staying there Elliot then yeah I'm gonna whack him again I mean okay, not again I'm gonna whack the new guy so, now so you definitely move past uh, Flargo Snarp right and you bring that that Mason and uppercut maneuver and just right up into his kneecap again <laughs> Have you got any Healy spells on you, by the way? Uh, earlier? I have one group heal remaining, so okay. I'm saving that one. Cool. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's all right. Can, can it work when I'm on very, zero? Very, very nice strike. Can that heal work when I'm on zero? Um, uh, uh, I, don't, I don't know. Uh, well, we, we can pick you back up, right, if you if you go down, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's how like, it works. But, you, like, it's better, obviously, to cast... It when someone's on zero, isn't it? Because then that's when it's like most impactful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you yeah, can, sure. if you can. That's when it's so, most impactful. So, so, so if if Jimmy went down and we picked him back up, how much health would he have when we picked him back up? Whatever you healed him to, your heal. So if he but, goes but, to mean, zero or below, if anybody goes to zero or below, they incur on their next turn a death save, hmm. unless another character comes over and quote unquote stabilizes him, meaning. You know, you're putting your your hand over the jugular that's bleeding, or 
uh, whatever that may be. Yeah. When, then when you heal, you can heal whatever your normal points would be. Yeah. Um, that individual would be prone. They would be subject to dropping whatever they had, you know, half of their movement to stand up, so on and so forth. Okay, okay. Wow. We'll, we'll, see, we'll see what happens, I guess, when, when that... We'll see, what yeah, we'll see what happens when I get wrecked again. <laughs> I'm, I'm done for that. <laughs> he's badly injured. Glorious. Yeah, he's he's allowed to discuss that with you. We talked about that. He's looking it up. He doesn't remember how to look up his character sheet. <laughs> I did. You took a you took a nice depth uppercut with your uh, with your dagger again. Can you hear us, uh, Jim? No. Yeah. So, oh God, right. So, it, what happened was I I muted Daedal, right because he was on the phone. Um, I was. Uh, oh, okay. All right. And now I. Don't yeah. So Daedal was just asking how many hit points you have left. Um, some. I don't know how to change the view here. Um, uh, just if you if you if you double click and open your character sheet, you'll have you'll see the underneath your picture. No, no. Okay, here we go. I've got it. Um, Thirteen. I was panicking for the stream because I had had, had focused on Dale instead of all. Right, it's okay now. Uh, thirteen. I'm on thirteen health. All right, Demetrius, you were at the top of the ladder, sir. Uh, so I will. How far is this? One, two. Where's the door? I don't even know where the door is. I come here. Just ah. the, the 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 room that Dimitriov. Oh no, the door's open, isn't it? Yeah, never mind. Yeah, I just closed it so he could see where it was, and then reopened ah. it. Where? I can't see any door. Oh, that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> The attempted token <laughs> movement collides with at least one more. Oh. Can't walk the walls. I can't see Just... anything. It's all pitch black. Are you pitch black? Uh, well, I can see Daka and Flagle. Yeah, you're not supposed to be seeing more. You're in a uh, close, close. Yeah, you're inside. Of, you're inside of enclosed walls. Uh. How far is that? That's five, ten, fifteen, twenty. 25, 30. Oh, baby. Oh, I can't move over. Is there so, someone Is there someone next to you, Elliot? Can you not get... Yeah, there's the, someone next the, to Elliot. You can get to the, the corner, I think. Yeah. Huh? But yeah like, opposite me. Yeah. It won't let me go there. there oh, go. there we go. Yeah. There you go, I moved <clears here. throat> Right, I'm going to kill this fool. Because, uh... <laughs> These boys have been did, did, about. did we bring the coldest up, by the way, just to confirm? No, he did not declare that he was sending the... He, he retied him in front, sent di, sent little Jimmy up, and then went up himself. Okay. So the coldest might be climbing up himself, seeing as he doesn't want to get inked by the worm. Nice strike there. Okay, roll for damage. So it's done, boys. <laughs> Dimitriov, I'll save you again. <laughs> oh, hang on, hang on. Bonus action. Bonus he's he's action. dead, he's dead, Jimmy. He's, he's, he's dead, dead, he's dead, dead Dimitriov. <laughs> we're, de we're definitely killing the two sleeping ones. <clears throat> uh, I, 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 we should not kill no, the two sleeping ones. Should, should, if we've got any rope, we should, uh, we should restrain these guys as well. We should hang them. <laughs> the, the, they they attacked us on sight, but and now they're asleep, lying on the floor, defenseless. We shall take them prisoner. They are not and... defenseless. Prisoner, within, like, prisoner, prisoner, they will prisoners. wake up in seconds. We're not mass we're murderers. Prisoners. Prisoners. Yeah, that, a second is like a hundred turns. We've got plenty of we're, time still. The time, time yeah. two turns. So you have, you, have, two you, turns. Have, you, have a, you have a few minutes to discuss this. Yes, definitely. They're, you're, you're technically out of combat now. Two turns. Right. Why is it? Why two We've turns? We've got we loads have... of turns, David. We've got like two. No, turns it, that's turns. that's how long. Oh, it's how left how long it's been, spells. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how long it's left of the spells. It's two turns. No, it's loads. Yeah, this of was turns. going fast. Remember, because he cast it when he was alone. 
Yeah. So where you usually have a lot of different combat turns going on, we were moving faster. So yes, it's technically speaking, it is moving a hell of a lot faster this this round of combat. So, but how do you know exactly how many turns it is? Because I cast this spell, I'm aware. And how long yeah, does it last? Yeah, on his character sheet, he's got a countdown. It lasts two turns. No, it doesn't. The two sleep more lasts, turns. Like, the sleep lasts, lasts like two, two minutes or something. No. Yeah, it lasts two more turns. No, the, how, how many so minutes does the spell lasts. last? Yeah, uh, like, I don't know. I don't remember. All right, so what are we doing here, gentlemen? We're tying them up. We tie them yes. up. Where are the the other, the Flargo, the we're not murderers. Where are the other, where are the other cultists? D Dimitri of, where are the other cultists? <laughs> yeah, that's uh, a good point. I had to leave them to save you guys. You, you guys were uh, taking them off. Where's Jimmy? Where's the little Jimmy? Jimmy's in the corner. Jimmy's over there. Do, do you guys have rope? Because obviously my manacles are on the guy at the bottom. Um, I think I might have some rope. I'll check. Do you guys have... Does anybody have any rope? Uh, I have uh, rope. What uh, if there are more cultists? We haven't seen the guys that Jimmy talk, talked about that uh, that were following us. Like, we can't take more prisoners. We I've don't know rope. that those guys were antagonistic. Just, just yep. to, you know, they, 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 they were may following be us friendly. menacingly. <laughs> Wait, did, did he say menacingly? I don't know. I don't know if he said menacingly. Little Jimmy, were they were they were these characters menacing in your opinion? Okay, so let's let's cover this real quick. I've taken the the sleeping effect off of them. They are prone. They are tied up, which is what that net means. Thank you. So the two the two cultists are subdued. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, you've got two more that are dead in there. And then now, Elliot, you're asking him what now? Uh, were the two figures that you saw earlier? Uh, leaving town following us acting uh, or appearing menacing or other than the presence of weapons in and of themselves well, they, they were just walking down the road but they were following you guys <laughs> okay, and i okay. followed them and then we got to the quath wards and as the quath wards they started eating a whole shitload of fucking pig meat it was great man they <laughs> they barbecued this pig that was just sitting there and then and 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 i stayed off in the bushes real real quiet like right and i was several i don't know a lot i was just away from these guys and then the next morning came. I slept really good too, by the way. It was very nice. And then the next morning came, and we and and they started off on the same path that you guys was 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 going down. And 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 I followed them. And then when we saw like this area here, I kind of broke off to the left into the bushes and the trees, and I came over to this house. And then I saw you guys going in, and I came down the ladder. Do, do we think that Kalon could have sent another team afterwards? Flago snob? Do you, do you think these could be associates of the country wizard? Do, do, we, do, we, no. do we think we know these in any way? Or? No. Okay. So I think the first thing we have to do is, is see what's happening with these two guys at the bottom, right? So I think a human and a little person goes down the ladder to, to get the other two guys. And then a, a human and a little person stays up top to, with the two that we've got. Here, right? Uh, Decker, you look pretty beaten up. Have you got a health potion? I'm fucked, mate. Uh, it's alright, I can second wind. I can second wind it back if I have to. I could second wind it right now, eh? Well, if, if you're, yeah, if you're in a bad way, then I guess I go down the ladder, right? Can't we bandage up? Like, don't we have bandage? Have, we got, have, have any of you guys, like, surveyed the, uh, the the outside of this building like is there any oh we couldn't survey no. anything because we got instantly attacked by these assholes that you yeah. don't want to see well, does someone want to have a look out the window or well i think we should we should like we should secure ourselves yeah, first we... right we should yeah. get them before we split up we, we should have a little look around and make sure i definitely right. want to i agree with them and we should close the door <laughs> that's not exactly what i said <laughs> <laughs> flaggle but yeah which door? What are you doing? Which... I want to get the door out, out so they can't. Oh, bolt back. No one else can get in and attack us when we're trying to gather up and pre prepare. Can we? Can, can I have a little look outside? Can I? Like, uh, Peekaboo. If you want, yeah, you can move to the door. I mean, there's. Do you want to attract more people here right now? I want to just have a look and see if there's anyone outside. That's all right. I I was sneaking and they just instantly attacked me. <laughs> well, there's no one outside that I can see. Hang on, let me have a little look around outside as well. Then. Okay, if we're looking outside. Okay, yep. Hold on, hold on. Okay, so I just want to mention nobody's like sneaking or nothing. Dimmy's just like off for a country walk here, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, but I'm like I'm I'm uh, uh, um, like a kind of. No, no, you're not. You're not. You're, you're not Flargo Snarp, and you're making up your own rules, brother. <laughs> I uh, I I am not scared of anything. I'm, 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 that's fair. That's very fair. If that's what you, if you're good with that. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna. Wow, well, I had to look around the corner. So right, I, I think. Can't. Look, we're kind of safe, right? And we're we're in a, we're in a choke point at the end of the day. Like the point is, we're in a choke point, right? So, I think we we get these guys down, get them up, and then we're all together again. Then we can think about what to do once we're all together again. Do you know what I mean? Like, well, I, I just, just, I just want to know that there's no immediate danger outside. Do you know what I mean? Like, can we not like do a sweep of the perimeter and then go down again? Well, then what if they get away? Like, what if they're trying to escape? Where are they going to go, Jim? Where, where are they going to go? I don't know. We didn't, go, we didn't gonna... explore if we were down there, did they're, we? They're going to go back to the worm and what? Like, well, like, there could be got, another exit. We, got, we, didn't, we, got, we didn't explore up the north, did we? We got two prisoners here. Like, Why do we need another two? How many because they, there could be... A, well, we, we got down from here, right? There could be other entrances to the cave network. We didn't go up north. They could go up there and then come back up well, and get more people to come and get us, right? Well, how do they know where we're going? Well, because they know where we. They've, they're. they're he, you've gone up the ladder. <laughs> no, they but saw, I mean, they've like, seen you go yeah. up the ladder, right? Well, aren't we? Aren't we gonna be right? We do a sweep of the perimeter. We have a look around, and then like, aren't we taking these two prisoners back to uh, Dadel Blagelstarp's mate, Country Wizard? Surely it won't take long to descend the ladder, get the prisoners, and come back up the ladder. Exactly. Yeah, it only took like a few seconds. So you, right? you so... wanna? You wanna? You wanna? trek with four prisoners when there's four of us and two of us Cato, you can end your spell my, now by the way also my point exactly <laughs> we should kill them well you shouldn't kill we're them we can interrogate them we, and we stuff but i think them. we, we can, just need to we, secure them all first so that we know what's well, going letting on letting the two run away downstairs is not a solution to any problem well the worm will deal with them no we should go well i'm going to get them because i'm sick of of this and i follow daka <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'll, I'll maintain my sweep. Of okay, hold, stay right there, Daka. Okay, so you're at the top of the ladder. Um, I don't Elliot, know how to end the spell. You have to uh, just clear the um, the the what's it called the area of effect. So you should be able to. There should be like a little. If it's not there, I can end it in a few minutes here. Um. So you're at the top of the uh, you're at the top of the ladder. You're looking down. It's pitch black again because it's lighter up here than mm -hmm. it is down below, right? Yep. You hear absolutely zero movement, zero anything down below. Okay. Um. Oh, well, do, do you want to go down first, uh, Elliot? <laughs> seeing as you've got night vision <laughs> and more than ten hit points, and more than ten hit points. Uh, um. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Um, yes. Um, Thanks. Do you think we should call down to the prisoners first, Daka, or just go you know, go down? We could we could tell them tell one to come up, see if they're down there, or do we not want to attract attention? I think. I think you you you, you can see like sixty foot right or something in the dark. So I think you just start descending and look down, and then you know if you see them, you can you can make the call whether to shout them or not, basically. Okay, I start descending. Okay, so Elliot, you uh, you uh, you you descend the ladder. You get about halfway down. You just take a quick glance. You still see nothing at the bottom of this ladder. You're still in the tunnel. Um. But you are um, uh, in the tunnel of the ladder, if you will, um, the shaft of the ladder. <laughs> Is it the shaft of the ladder? Um, so you you can't see; it's not very open below you. You can see at the bottom, but there's nobody down there currently. Do you want to continue all the way? I continue. Okay, at the bottom of the ladder, there's nobody to be found. I shout up to Daka. Oh God. Uh, there's nobody here, Daka. The cultists are gone. Oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck. Can I, can I'll, I do, I'll do my best. Opinion? <laughs> I'll do my best, Henry Cavill in The Witcher. <laughs> can can I do some kind of uh, check for footprints or something? Some kind of test for looking for evidence of the direction they've traveled in? Yeah, if you'd like to, definitely. I mean, there's only one way they could really travel, right? It's just back down the tunnel. Um, this is a good point. 
Yeah, it's, there's not a, um, uh, as far as like footprints and such, I mean, you've, 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 you've gone through, come back, and now they've gone obviously in a direction. So there's, there's a lot of tamping down here already. But I mean, there's only, they, they, unless they're hiding up in that little tiny room above, which there isn't much room to hide, they've, uh, they've gone down the, 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 the shaft of the tunnel itself. Hmm. Okay, well, I begin to, I begin to ascend to regroup with the group. Hmm. I did second wind on myself, by the way, and I've sorted out my crossbow bolts in my uh, okay, slack perfect. thing. Okay, perfect. Yep. <laughs> oh, that's fine. That's perfect. Did you add your hit points already? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, I'm only injured where, now. Um, now that I see Elliot and Dukka again, I'm asking where the cultists are. Twin flag or not, the cultists are gone. Mm. So we light a crossroads. Do we pursue those cultists or leave them to their evil machinations? And just take these two with us. Well, they know where we are, right? They, they know where we. The, they've escaped. Yeah. They know exactly where we are. And so we, and we don't know how that what that cave system ends in, like, the other direction. So we like, see seeing from the layout that uh, cave system could and should probably lead them to the mansion. Yeah, it could do. It could do. Um, so. That's probably if I had to guess where they're heading. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab one of these guys. Is he awake now? This this guy who's yeah, yeah they're awake because you had to you had to jar them, you had to rustle them in order to tie them up. Okay, right. I'm gonna grab Same one of them. Situation is down below. Drag him into the corner here. Right, drag him into the corner there and intimidate him, and yeah, see if the other one see if I can get him to tell us like you know if they're with the the you know what are they what are the two guys called uh, Faps and. Faps and Finches. <laughs> Faps and Finch, yeah. Are, are they are they with Faps I and Finch? I move my guy. I want to move my guy. You can't um, move him. Oh, um, top left uh, hand. There, uh, there you yeah, go. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, um, say again, there, uh, uh, Jim. You're going to ask him what specifically? I want to know if if like if they're working with Faps and Finch, like if they're in league with okay. Faps and Finch. Make an intimidation roll. He just looks up at you. This guy seems a little more steel than the guys down below. Mm -hmm. This guy, from your, um, from the way that they're interacting with you versus the questioning down below, while there is no rank system, you can tell that, that these guys are not underlings, if you will. They're not like, you're not talking to the head priest by any means, mm -hmm. but these guys seem a little bit more together. They're a little bit more determined, if you will. Right. Um... Can I slap him about and try again? You know, can I? Can we get a bit of torture going on here? Will that help? I, I, well, I... I... <laughs> sorry, go on. Go ahead, Elliot. I'm sorry. I, I, I note Jimmy's intent as he moves menacingly towards the cultist, and I say, "Brother Dacker, you know, stay your hand. You know, let us not become that which we are here to defeat." I can love you, Elliot. <laughs> I say, look, Elliot, we, we need, we need, we need, we need to know what we're doing here. Okay, we've got in the woods, we've got these two people following us. In the manor, we've got Faps and Finch. We've got the cultists on the loose. When you say, when you say Faps and Finch, the cultist that's below you, or not below you, but at your feet, will say, just kind of goes, <laughs> <laughs> like, like he, he just like, who are those guys? Right, so that makes us think that they're not with Faps and Finch, which makes me think. I mean, it's just it's it's like just like this quick reaction, right? Yeah. Like 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 when you hate the quarterback of your, I'm sorry, when you hate the center of your favorite football team, right? You're just like that guy. It's <laughs> yeah. like one of those reactions. Yeah. So that that makes us think that they're not with them, right? That makes us think that they're not in league with Faps and Finch. So. So like you know, at the end of the day, we've. <laughs> The cultists are down below, <laughs> and they're going to get their mates if they can. If there's another way out of that cave system, they're on their way out of that cave system to to like come back with great vengeance and furious anger. We've got the people in the woods who knows what their intentions are. Faps and Finch are, seem to be on our side. They might not be though, right? We don't know. We don't know if they're even on our side. We, they could be in league with these guys. But that reaction, obviously, we know that they're not because we've seen the 
<laughs> the viewers know they're not because they've seen the cutscene. Out of scene. character. Out of character. Out of character. The viewers no, no, know only, that they're only not. Only one. In only one at that cutscene. Yeah, you're only one. They know. Oh, it was dead. Remember, only, yeah, was only Finch is. Only Finch is dead. So the viewers know that Finch is dead, but we don't. Um, so at the moment, we're thinking that Faps and Finch are on the level and could be our saviors in the main mansion, right? So I think, based on no. that, Daka thinks. Okay, so before we before we have that, um, let's cut back over to Dimitro real quick. Dimitro, if you do a full circuit of the home, you don't see anybody else out there. Um, you glance up to the manor house itself, because you guys, if you remember on the map, and we can cut back to that when we start moving again, the manor house is not that far away, right? You're not on the far side of the, of the area, of the manor and the surrounding areas there. Um, there's a lot less movement up there. There's only one guy outside now. Faps and Finches, whom you you kind of, you know, you, you know their shape. They they were dressed in more fine regalia than the other ones. They're not around any longer either. That's what you see off in the distance. Looking around you, it's relatively clear. You're, you're, it's, a, it's an open line of sight with the exception of behind other building structures. You don't see or hear anything else or anybody else. Right, I'll uh, head down into the tunnel then. Whoa! What? In no. the tunnel? Where, where are you? You're down in the tunnel, aren't you? No, no, we're, we're in the cottage. We're in, we're in oh. the house, yeah. Oh, what? I thought you went down into the thing. We came back up. We did, then we came back up because they oh fucked Oh my off. god, you guys. <laughs> well, the, the, well, the cultists, are, are you in the cottage now? The cultists are gone downstairs, do you feel? They, they, they fled, they left. Mm. What oh, did you do with the cultists, Timmy? Is the door shut? Uh, we've got two cultists here. How many cultists do we want? And it's not about wanting them, it's them going the back cult to get Did the you friends. release the cultists? Yeah, pretty much. Downstairs. <laughs> I didn't release them, I came to save you. <laughs> well, they're gone. Alright. So, they're going to get their friends and come and kill us. We need to kill these guys. Oh, I, I don't need I, to I kill just... anybody. I noticed oh. that there, there doesn't seem to be so many people over at the manor anymore. Maybe mm. the staff are the cultists. Or maybe it's... they've been attacked by the cultists. Well, I don't see any dead bodies. I'm, or... I'm taking out my dagger and asking him uh, what's going on. Uh, the uh, I'm, I'm intimidating the guy in front of me. Okay, give me an intimidation roll for yours. Dave must be the best intimidator because he's got charisma, hasn't he? For the, uh, I'm spells. not rolling oh, with charisma. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's intelligence. That's an intelligence one, but okay, so it's still a one. I'm, I guess. I'm, I'm wondering how I should how I should play this when you roll a one here. Um, <laughs> he's seen you kill us, but this guy. We're gonna say that this guy, and I'll note this just in case he does survive. We don't know what's gonna happen to these guys, right? This guy is the fanatic of fanatics, right? <laughs> He has bought in, man. He's drank the Kool-Aid, <laughs> right? He is just, this guy will, I mean, he just keeps, he just looks up at you with his, with his jaw shut. The, you can tell looking at this guy, this guy will never answer a frigging question. I mean, this yeah. is, this is like, yeah, this is, this is the, I mean, he's, this, this is the cultist of all cultists. <laughs> yeah. So I'm relaying this. Like, Demi, you see this, like, he's never gonna talk. There's no point saving him just for him to get hanged later. The point is our souls, Flagglesnop. Stop we trying return... to kill people, Dale. <laughs> we should return the cultists to the authorities, whether they talk or not, and let them be dealt with appropriately. Oh, we how are we, we take... getting out of here? Like, we already had two shackled oh. up, and they're <clears throat> fucking gone. We well, take... we'll stay with we these take... two. We take this cultist to the country wizard. So we, we've got to make the decision now, right? We can either hightail out of here, try to get back to, like, the town as soon as possible. We can go to a different house and try and, like, defend that. Or we can go We can go back to the manor and see if there's people there. What, what, no, we're not, the we're manor. not going to the manor. The manor. No, I think the manor's no good. I, I, think, I think Faps and Finch are good. I, I think the manor's the best. We, we, can, the, we can find a cell for the cultists at there, perhaps. The, the, only the, reason, the only reason that I knew about the uh, cave system is because we knew it was connected to the manor. Well, who, right. who, who is we, Flogglesnop? You, the, the cultist wizard? Uh, 
yeah, the country wizard. He it's told me about the the cave system that there should be another right, entrance. Why, why didn't you? Mm. That he, he asked me not to. Like we, but there is mm. no fucking way on earth that we're going to the manor. I'm 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 suspicious. I I'm suspicious why this information wasn't shared with us. It seems because I was asked not to tell because I'm I I. I there's other stuff down there that I was asked to look for. What's ah, the other stuff? Flag? That's between me and the country wizard. Well, I think we'll it's. Have to ask him. We're in a life and death situation. Yeah. Like, I'd him, like to be in full there. possession that's of the facts. Related, that's not related to these cultists, whether they alive, where whether we keep them alive, or we just know that we can't go to the mansion. So did you did you find the other thing that you were looking for? No. So it's in, in in another part of that cave system, likely connected to the manor and where the cultists went. Would you say the thing you're looking for is approximately 22 feet in length? <laughs> <laughs> it's not an an earthworm. I mean, we can do <laughs> we can do whatever the fuck we want after a short rest, right? We just need a short rest because then yeah, that we're gives not us, going to the mansion. We're that going gives back us to like town hit points. It gives wizard. us spells. It gives us unless everything. we kill these guys, then we can take on the mansion. We can deal. We can deal with anything as long as we get we a short rest. We can't. We can't have these idiots that try to kill us while trying to find more cultists that want to kill us. Like either we kill these guys. And go look for the others. We don't have to kill or... people all the time, no, Flago. No, You're not meant to, to be evil, are you? We're not, we don't have to murder people. Evil. Like this is not about being evil. This is about survival. We've already lost two prisoners. The two that we got. If we're go, if we're going in the direction where there are more cultists, we're not bringing two that will just like get out and. Backstab us. Then they are not necessarily called us at the manor though. Faps and Finches are at the manor. They can they can help us. They seem. Yeah, there were, there were a bunch of people there, yeah, and they couldn't see there. anyone up there. You said you said there was you could see one person there, Dimitriov. Did it look like a cultist like, or did it look like just a normal worker? The way well, I see know. it. The way we know I see that the, cult, is... the cave system is connected. Well, we hold, got... hold on, Florgo. Let let Dimitriov. Dimitriov's been asked a question here. We we got two options, right? We either take a long rest, and then we go into the manor, can't take or, a long or short That's rest. Asleep, yeah. we, we can't rest in this house. We cannot rest in this house because this is the house that they know where we are, right? They know right. we're here. The, the, the two, the well, two there's, cultists there's, there's know we're in this house, house so we, we have to move from this house. Uh, yeah, yeah, but that's, that's, that, hang on. Right, okay. So we either move to another house and take a short rest, and then assault the manor. Or we take this guy back to the country wizard, and the only thing that I'm thinking is, why would we take on the manor when our job was never to do that? You know, we yeah. we were sent here to find out what's going on. Yeah, we, we kind of know what's going on. Well, yeah. I think it would be safer at the manor. This is the thing, right? No. We, if we're, we're trying to get a safe, we're trying to get a short rest, right? We're trying to just get a short rest so we don't die, right? Essentially, because if we if we try and leave right now and there's anybody there, we've got like no, you know, we've lost health, we've got no spells, we've got no we're bonus actions. The forest then to, to well, like, like, cause the forest is safer than the manor. But the two people following us are in the forest, <laughs> right? But so, the forest is big, like how are they going to find us it's big, it's big, but I mean, like, can we... we just rest in the forest? Like, you know, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to have to make a camp in the forest and try to rest there and like keep watch. Like, there, there's no way we we enter that manor. I'm not entering that manor. Although our instructions were to purely to investigate and not engage, which surely we have already contravened, my curiosity is peaked. While we are here, I want to find an ending no, we're, we're to this coming, story. I we're, we're say we go to the manor, no, either directly or indirectly. We're, we're coming back to the manor. Like we're not bringing more cultists with us to the manor. I'm not. I'm not doing it. There's no way I'm doing that. Well, it's it's more just like where we do where we have the short rest. Right, we have to have a short rest. I think we have to have yeah, it soon, forest. and 
So I'm kind of tempted to go to like another house or the manor to have well, a why short don't, rest. Hmm. Why don't we find out what the country wizard wants us to do? Well, it's it's what two, three days back to yeah. uh, Victor. Yeah. It's it's a lot of time. Who knows what might have happened? Who knows what the worm will have done? Eaten lots of soil. Perhaps. Isn't that <laughs> why you want to bring these guys alive so that they can answer those questions exactly. for you? Yes. So we're bringing these back alive. Yes. Either either that or we go in and assault the the mansion we're not if, doing both if it's an assault i don't i see no reason why it must be an assault no it's not necessarily because, an because because the cave system is connected to the manor so the only place that they could have we we know that it was a dead end where we picked up the cultists the only place they could have gone is towards the manor yeah but there could yeah, be two, other two extra two extra God knows how many entrances there are, right? It doesn't mean it's just the manor and this house. They, they don't have to be the only two entrances, right? There could be loads of other ways in. Yeah, but we know that the direction is towards the mansion. Yeah. Like, there's, it's too it's too big of a risk. I'm, you can't be serious. Like, you cannot be serious. <laughs> you cannot you be serious! Be you know, it was over the line! <laughs> Come on! Prison into a likely hostile situation. Out of character, what happens uh, if we were at an impasse? What, what, you know, what do we, you know, how do we resolve? Uh... There, there, there is no impasse. You guys have to kind of figure this out, yeah. right? How, I mean, how the, long is a short you're rest? Sitting how, here now. How long is a short you're rest? Sitting here, I mean, other things yeah. could happen, but I'm not yeah, going to tell you that get out. Make, like, we have to get out. We have to get out. So, so let's go to a, a, another house. house. Yeah, let's yeah. just go to another house, right? This, like, say this, this one. Can I ping? Can I ping on this map? Yeah, you should. You can ping on any map. How do I ping? Hold down, We're left click. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's go to this one here. Let's go to this one. You're pinging two different ones. I'm no, pinging Dimmy's this pinging one. the other one. See how? See how? Um, Jimmy is red. Dimmy yeah. is yellow, and Elliot yeah, is blue. That's well, how you know whose pings are whose. All, all I'm go. saying is, it, it's like the smallest house, right? We can't, what, we can't <laughs> go for a slightly larger one, like or. <laughs> well, you, won't what? they expect us to go to a larger one? <laughs> okay, okay, oh, fair. Oh, we, we are quite small, it's true that's anyway. So, okay. Oh, Elliot <laughs> turns up his nose at the accommodations you've seen. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like my own bedroom. <laughs> 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 you're like, you're like, We're all sleeping in the same room, we, we, you know, in case something happens. Very well, Daka. We will we will go to that house. Well, I I say. Let, we let's go. go, we'll, go, go we'll, we'll go to this one then. Here, that's a bit bigger for oh, you. Oh, oh, it's a nice house. Yeah. Okay, yeah. let's go to this D house. D Dimitri, up and flag us up. What say you? I'll come in. All right. Let's just get here. Let's just let's just go here. Okay, so um, for sake of argument, we're gonna the cultists are coming with you. You don't have to move them around. Don't assume that I've just let them run off. Thanks. Um, <laughs> And little Jimmy. Little yeah, Jimmy's little Jimmy's there. right there next to you. He's he's outside playing with his toy, toy trucks, right? Right. Okay, um, so you get so it is now into the early evening. It's not quite dark, it is very much dusk. If you remember you searched three locations, it was gonna be a fourth location before you actually um, reached nighttime. Your time down in the caverns. It wasn't relatively long when you consider what you were actually doing. You had two quick combats and not a lot of movement, right? Yeah. And then you came back up and had a third up in that up in that house. So it is now starting to get dark. Um, the sun is the sun is behind the trees, but you have a light dusk level. Um, so did you, you can easily time. find one of these homes. You could bar doors. You could move um, broken furniture in front. You can set guards. There's nothing that um, there's nothing that you pick a home that doesn't have or a section of a home that doesn't have a wall that's caved in or looks like it's. Um, uh, weak in any way. You, you've picked a good location. You guys know what you're doing. Yeah. So I think, I think, yeah. So first of all, like, we, like the most important thing is we're in a defensible location. And, we're barring the doors, yeah. And we're not, you know, we're not just going to have people come up through this, <laughs> through this. Like they know, we, they know that we were in that house. They know that for sure that we were in that house. If, if they've got back and talked to anyone, they might not, they might have been eaten by the worm or whatever, right? But those two cultists know for sure we went up in that house. So at least... The worm is real. The worm, the worm is real. Do you know that then from, 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 from the country wizard? I, I, I know nothing about worms. You know nothing. Okay, so the worm might not be real. They, they might have just said that to lead us into this ambush. But that's my That's my inclination now that they've ex escaped. Okay, but but you don't. Uh, we, it's important to know what you know. 
<laughs> That's the yeah, thing, I right? Don't know. I don't. I told you what I know. Yeah. Well, no, you haven't told us all. You haven't told us all of it. You've yeah. deliberately worm, withheld some of worm, it. Still. If the worm was real, is like, why would they run back down the passage? It's certain depth. Yeah. Yeah. If they, they can't have been that scared. Hmm. Or maybe the worm got them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, true, true, true. Well, no, oh, yeah, the like... worm have then gotten Elliot when he came down? Well, he, well, did, he didn't go up by then, maybe. maybe. <laughs> and, like, we had... I, I will say, Elliot, that you didn't see any any um, signs of... You know, there wasn't like an arm laying on the ground or pieces of clothing or blood splatters or anything like that. Or smegma from the worm <laughs> traveling. What the fuck? <laughs> smegma. Jesus Christ. Uh, what, just, what, just the question is, what what is actually stopping us taking a long rest? Uh, just just Say danger. Again, uh, Jimmy? Danger is the thing. What, right? What's stopping us taking a long rest? Nothing stops you from doing it. Just danger. That's the thing, right? Like it's I think it's and the longer we delay, the the more we risk, um, you know, bad things happening not just to us, but you know, by the worm and the cultists Fap in general. Faps and Finch, right? Faps and Finches, the, you know, they're in danger. Are they we just going to let them... They could be in... Yeah, they could be in danger. So, like, Flargle here doesn't want to go up the manor because he thinks it's infested with cultists and Faps and Finches are dead? Is that what you're saying, Flargle? I don't know where they are, but I don't think that the mansion is safe. I, how do we know that... We don't know anything. We don't know anything, but so I, I, I trust Faps and Finches. Yeah, I trust I Faps and Finches. How can you how can you trust that more than your basic like instinct for survival? <laughs> My instinct for survival is the the the, the colours was like Phew, when when we mentioned Faps and Finches, Faps right? Faps and Finches for two seconds and we're here to investigate the property that they own because of disappearances. Like you can't be serious that you're trusting them this much. It's I not have that to... much. I'm just saying I've trust them a bit. I think they're good guys. I don't well, think the, the cult, the cultist that um, that I that pull is my hair out. <laughs> the, the cultist that is the most steeled of them, like Mister Iron Iron Hardcore Cultist, just starts laughing. Not at the top of his lungs, but just mm -hmm. <laughs> Jesus Christ, these guys. <laughs> does, the, does the goblin have hair? No. Say again, Dimmy. Does the goblin have hair? <laughs> no. I have to admit, I I'm fully in favor of going to the manor. I I want to to want to 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 find a resolution to this horrible situation. But there is a complicating fact which I did not consider. It is not only our own lives that we are putting in risk here. We have yeah, it's the little Jimmy, Jimmy to mm. to think about. Can we risk taking him with us to the manor? Can we risk sending him back alone? Mm. No. So so how long how long is a short rest and how long is a long rest, please? Two hours for a short rest, eight hours for a long rest, typically overnight. If you don't have the option to go overnight, let's just say we're in some type of a dungeon and you venture for 16 <laughs> hours and you have to do it during the day, you do it during the day. But typically it's, it's, like, it's like a regular sleep. You can put up um, watches during both and you will still be considered to be, um, to have benefited from it. So no, you don't have to have eight full hours of sleep. We right. just assume eight hours passes. If nothing goes wrong, each of you takes a two-hour shift. Life right. is good. So I would like to get out of here in the in the cover of darkness. And it's not dark yet. So should we try and have a short rest? Have yeah. gu have guards. We've boarded things up. We can keep an eye on the house that we know that they're in. We can keep an house eye on coming from the manor. So we can try and have like a couple of hours to get the short rest. Get all your spells back. Get the uh, yeah, Dimitrov's and my abilities well. back. And then we can uh, escape. Yeah. Decide what to do. Have you got any spell slots left at the moment, Elliot? Yes, one, one level two spell slot. Oh, can you can you can you heal this up then? I think yeah. Jimmy's taking some as well. If 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 you do that before. Well, and if we're taking a short rest, then we'll heal anyway, won't we? We don't have Not to. Not necessarily. Though, that's the thing. So a yeah. short rest, you you have you have X amount of hit point dice based on your number of levels. So each of you has three dice that you can expend during a short rest, up to three dice. You can only roll one if you want, you can roll two if you want, you can roll all three. You do not have to roll them at the same time. So you can, for instance, if you have a 10-sided die and you only need seven hit points of healing and you roll an eight on your first one, you can save the other two. I mean, I'm 32 out of 35 on Gucci. Yeah, so there's a very good chance just a short rest is going to heal you up just fine. Or but, honestly, Elliot's spell. Yeah, the spell's I mean, better, right? Because the spell takes However, no hit dice and the spell recovers. If you don't on, have to use rest. those hit dice and you're not able to take a long rest, 
you have those saved for your next short rest. Yeah. But yeah. doesn't the short rest give us all our ability dice back? Yeah. In some cases, yes. In some cases, it's overnight for certain things. Yeah. I believe every one of yours is a short rest. And what about my spell slots? Do they all return during a short rest? Well, that's, yes. I'm not bothered about my... I don't want to rest because of my hit points. I want to rest because of my ability dice. Exactly, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's yeah. no reason for me not to cast the spell then, right? If it... Exactly. No, there yeah, really isn't. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Well, and, and also, D Dimi, can, uh, Dimi can use his ability. Uh, uh, is Dimitri of Dakar? Yes, <laughs> all right. D D D Dimi for short. Dimmy for short no, can no, no, use. No, 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 no. What is it? No, only his mother uh, calls him Dimmy. Second wind, yeah, right? You, you could use second wind um, to heal yourself as well, right? Because that comes back on a on a short rest. So every time we short rest. Um, Jim is three hit points, man. Like, yes, but I'm just <laughs> so, so you can second wind and you'll get it back. So like I'm just saying, you can just get we, that back. So are we short resting then? Yeah. Well, yeah. I will cast Prayer of oh, Healing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I would, yeah. Mm. he casts Prayer of Healing. If that doesn't do the three dice, then I'll do the second win. Yeah. And then we'll rest. How about that, Daka? Is that right? Yeah. I'm just letting you know so, like, you know, so it's. Because there's no reason yeah, not yeah. to second win in the same way there's no reason for Elliot not to use his spell. Okay, slots. so remember, Elliot, this is the one that I could not get that, that bonus modifier onto because ah, you have okay. to declare how many people you're healing. Oh, okay. Mm. So we it? add the, what does it add, two points or three points to each individual, right? Let me check. I, I really want to go in the mansion. Two plus the spell's level, so four, what does that mean? Oh, wait, what is the level? Yeah, second, second level, yeah, so four. So there you go. So we just have to manually remember to add four to everybody whom you heal. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I, I beckon uh, Daka and uh, Dimitriov over raise my hands and uh, you know mutter some invocation to the chief engineer under my breath uh, and, a, and a, nothing visible can be seen but a, a sense of renewal emanates outwards from me and uh, envelops both uh, both Daka and uh, Dimitriov glorious appreciate it okay so 18 points however you want to do I'm guessing that heals everybody yes Yes. It well, I only, I only need three, so. Yeah, yeah, that, that's. Yeah, that, plus that's the plus possible. four that he gives to you. Yeah, that heals everybody easily. Yeah. So seeing as we're full health and we go, well, well, now we rest, right? Now we rest. Yeah, yeah. now we do the rest. Yeah. See, but so. what you get to do is you get to bank those those healing dice also, Dimmy, just in case. I uh, am. So I put myself. On All right. Back. So everybody, open your character sheets and click short rest. Hmm. It is on the left hand side, you'll see a bed. It is the first of the two hourglasses. Yep. Uh, yep. I took a short rest before all y'all. Oh, sorry, sorry, what are these select dice to roll? No, or... you don't want well, to because we're already healed. But yeah, they're, that's they're the like healing, healing dice. Ah, mm. okay, okay, okay. And they so get like... replenished after a long rest. And it's not a new day, is it? No. No, it is not a new day. Right, let's go to the mansion, boys. Let's go. Oh, let, let, well, well I, 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 I'm with you, Dimitriov, but little Jimmy, what do we do about yeah, little Jimmy? Yeah, that is a good point, little Jimmy. Little Jimmy is, is the thing that puts me over into a can we, not tell, can we not tell him to wait here? But then what if they come out not, of that building and kill him? <laughs> this right? kid, so Dimitriov, this kid followed you two and a half days from the local town. Can you just stay here, please? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'll, I'll take him back. Like, I'm not entering the mansion. That's a death sentence. Okay, it's, so Flago it's not necessarily take... a death sentence, to be honest, Flago. We fucked these guys up. We're not gonna, we're not gonna separate the party on this. You're one. a wizard. <laughs> you're a wizard. Elliot's a wizard. If you, D um, Dimitriov is, you a, is a badass. While I'm a badass. I'll definitely allow that. Sorry, what was that? I said if Dado wants to keep, I'm sorry. If Flago Scarp wants to keep distance, I will definitely allow that. But I'm not gonna. He's not gonna grab little Jimmy and start running off into the sunset. I want to go to the manor. <laughs> I want to go to the manor. I want to too, and Dimi want, Dimitriov wants to. So three yeah. of us want to go, but the problem is little Jimmy. Little Jimmy is the problem, isn't he? We protected him so far. The manor might be the safest place for him. It could we be. Can take the, him to the manor Faps could be Finches. the safest part. The, the manor could be safe. That Faps and Finches. We may be way late returning to Victor. Yeah, it could be more dangerous going back to Victor. So yeah, okay. and I, I it's think, a tough choice. How do you I, wait, what? <laughs> I, I think because of 
the secrecy from Flag will snap, I think we go to the manor because he could have just told us about all of this beforehand. It's, now it's really easy to be frustrated as your in-game character when you're equally frustrated as yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling the exact fucking emotions of my character. But why? <laughs> why do you think it's a death Very sentence? Well why done, do you Dale. think it's Very stupid? Well do, do you know things that we don't? No. You know something that we don't because you won't tell us. Yeah, then it's fucking unsafe. Well, we know it's yeah, unsafe, but we're all badasses. Yeah, I'm a badass, mate. Okay, gentlemen, let's let's. You want to bring fucking prisoners into the, their friends' arms? <laughs> how is that? In, how is that remotely reasonable? Like you have experience of this exact same thing. I'm just not convinced that the manor is populated by cultists, right? No, I'm not. It wasn't and, and when we went there the first time, was it? Okay, and we, have we never that looked it's inside. In, inside. I will say it's, still... it's dark, it is it is dark now, so I mean I... You're, you're you're about two hours after sunset now, so just keep that in mind as well with the decisions you make. Night attack. <laughs> night attack. <laughs> or, or, or night or supper. If, if, what, you know, what are you, alternatively? What are you, seriously, what what are you proposing we do with the cultists that we have here when we enter the manor? Bring them we, with us. We, nah, we lock them in the loft. Oh, yeah, we could the lock loft them of this in this house. We, we could lock yeah. them in this house. Yeah, we could leave them leave them hogtied in this house. And leave them to Trific. Like the last two. <laughs> leave them to Trific. <laughs> Put an apple in their mouth. <laughs> Trific is not in this adventure. <laughs> You don't know that. We could we could just That's tie true. them. That's we true. could just leave them tied up. We could just leave them tied up. They they're gonna escape like the last two did. I mean, not necessarily. Well, in all fairness, you guys left the last two sixty feet down a tunnel with their arms tied in front of them on one of them and behind them on the other with manacles. Do, yeah. do we have uh, OOC? Do we have any info about how long it takes an average human man to untie themselves from being tied up with rope? <laughs> I suppose it depends on if he's Houdini or not. <laughs> um, if he's got friends helping him. I mean, so you used hemp and rope, right? So this is like a rope thick enough to like climb with. So you can make, you know, it's not, you, uh, I'm, I'm using this analogy here. You, you know, the knots used to tie in your shoelaces as a kid that took three hours to get undone. Oh, yeah, yeah. Versus a thicker rope that's like you can work your fingers in. It is a different thing. So theoretically, I would say it's probably not that tough for one of for them to go back to back and the guy with the manacles to at least snug enough of the of the rope loose for the other guy to get out. Oh, but the manacles guy ran off, right? We've lost the manacles. They're both gone, yeah. Because yeah. the manacles, he's just tied behind his behind his back. Yeah. So how he gets out of those, we don't know, but hmm. I, I... Flagle really wants to kill these prisoners. <laughs> I really, I wants to really kill. want to survive. Really wants to kill these. And prisoners. none of your decisions are leading to survival. I don't understand how, how wow. you're so inclined to kill us. <laughs> it's not leading us to certain death. There's danger, yes, but we're adventurers. That's part of the deal. Just th if we say Faps and Finches, just think how much the reward is. They're rich as fuck. It's a moral duty to save Faps and Finches. Mm. Uh, but I don't think I don't think Flagel has any. When the, when the money comes out, the priest goes, "It's our moral duty." <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the most realistic thing we've had. <laughs> I cast off my worldly possessions long ago. I am. Oh uh, God, we have to worry about little Jimmy experience. now. There's literally a little kid here. With us. Don't go right now, okay? Don't go too far on the role playing, okay, Elliot? <laughs> 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 Hilarious. Oh, no. <laughs> let's wow. let's keep moving. Jesus okay, Christ. Okay, so let's let's make we some chief moves. engineer. Now, now listen, guys. I love this role play. It's fantastic because we're starting to see how Largo Snarp is developing, how Daka is developing. I love this. But let's let's make a decision here and start to. You're two hours in. We'll say that conversation took ten minutes. Not a big deal. I, mean, I think it took hard. several hours. It's hard because obviously Daedalquist slash Snap is absolutely adamant that he doesn't want to do that. And we're all pretty much in agreement that we kind of want to do. <laughs> we kind of want to. But it's hard, isn't it? Yeah. I, I, well, you I, don't I, have to I, go together. I just don't want you to separate the party. So remember, I told you Snap could stay back 100 feet. 
200 feet. He could, he could, you know, that, effectively. There's literally no point in doing that. That's entirely. I mean, that, that's, I'm just, I'm, I'm throwing out different options. Anyway, so, so, so we, we've had the short rest, right? We've, we've had the short rest. In the two hours that we were resting and people were keeping guard, did anybody see anything that might think of anything? You know, like we kept an eye on the tree line. We kept an eye on the, the no, other no, house. We kept nothing, an eye on the manor. Nothing out of the ordinary. Nothing out it of the was, ordinary whatsoever. It's been a quiet sundown and, and early hours of the evening. Mm. Almost too quiet. And I don't say that from a standpoint of you should be worried. I mean, from what you all just came out of, and then you got literally two hours plus of just uninterrupted nothing. I mean, I'm okay with just going back. I'm like, I'm okay with going just just going back. But then the problem is, of course, then we're gonna have to we're gonna be end up in the exact same situation of we'll, we'll have to come back right, and then we'll probably gonna, we're little probably little gonna come back. Us. Yeah, we'll probably but, come but, back later and then d- so. days from now when Faps and Finches may be dead. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Well, it's your choice that you want to like lead a little kid into danger while having two guys that want to kill us. We don't even know. Us. We don't even know if there is danger. That's the thing. We don't yeah. even know. We haven't had a no, look. No, exactly. Like the the probability is the likelihood is that it's dangerous. We could just look. We could just scope it out and yeah. see what it looks like, right? We don't have to just. That's front what I assault. tried to do. I was sneaky as fuck, and these guys were waiting for me. Not in the mansion. Yeah, not in the mansion. Yeah. And we can be all together this time. Yeah. 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 So, so, and we see how sneaky these two humans looking, are. Looking what would outside, be the best way? Um, there, there is your. It's, it's, it's in a clearing. This is pretty well. How are we gonna sneak with two prisoners? That well, we can. We can. We can tie them in friends. this house. We can. We can leave them in this house. We can like. Oh my god. You know, we can the put them in. Right we can really tie them up well. Do something and leave them. Leave them very securely bound in this house. <laughs> So um, in, in regards to tying them up better, Dimitriov does have the broken or his um, his then broken. I'd rather take J- then I'd rather take Jimmy and the prisoners and stay here and keep watching over them with Jimmy here out of danger. And he let you three go into the mansion. Yeah, OK, seeing as you're I mean, you are the stealthiest one, but that's OK. Then we're protecting Jimmy, little Jimmy, and we're protecting the thing. Do not kill them, though. Do not kill these prisoners. Lago. Do not kill um, them. I won't unless they try to Do kill not us. kill them. Uh, so, <laughs> so, quick question. My spell slots haven't come back. Should should they yeah, be back? Do they say short rest oh. or long rest? Oh, I can put them back myself. <laughs> should I do that? <laughs> Maybe it is a long rest that your spell slots come back. Oh, yeah, does it say long? It should say on it, shouldn't it? So it replenishes yeah. It's been a little while since I've... Been, usually I've, I've, everything goes into a long rest. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, where, where would it say that, Dimmy? Yeah, where off? Would it say that? Uh, like, when you hover over it, it should say at the bottom, like, replenishes over long rest. Yeah, long spells long. do take a long rest. Oh, oh shit. Yes, yeah, spells <laughs> So abilities are short rest, spells are a long rest, yes. Ah. Fuck me. Well, let's just take a long rest. Yeah, but then, you like... You can theoretically sleep overnight here. I mean, again, the first, the last two hours have been uneventful. It is up... I mean, you don't... There's not... An, I'm trying to convey a not ominous feeling with combining the fact that you're at, like, some friggin' Boy Scout day camp. You're not, right? I mean, yeah, you were just yeah. assaulted in a house. Yeah. But there's not... You haven't... You know, you haven't... You would think that more would have happened. Let's put yeah. it that way. And I guess, I guess at least Dimmy and I are powered up now, right? So like, we're, we're at like full effectiveness after a short rest. So we're not that badly off. So we could go for the long rest now. And uh, like, with that, could we just do another six hours for the long rest? Like, turn yeah, the I short don't like rest doing that. into. That doesn't one. bother me. Yeah, yeah, that seems decent. So we, so we could do that, and then, and then, so we get, we get Eliod and uh, Flagel back to full strength. That seems all right, doesn't it? No more night attack or supper. No more supper. We miss out on supper. What if Finches mm-hmm. and and Faps are there and they're like, "Where have these oh, guys gone? We've got a lovely, we've got a yeah. lovely meal. We've missed out on dinner. Dimmy's absolutely gutted." <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna ask the I'm, I'm gonna ask the cultists if there's supper in the mansion. They both just look at you like, "Dude, you ain't getting shit out of me." <laughs> Especially from just such a, such a softball question. <laughs> I like look at you like, dude, who's this guy? 
You might as well have asked them about their baseball card collection. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. There's no supper in the mansion. They're coolest, Flago. Okay, so what are we doing, gents? I think long rest. Long Let's nap. go for the long rest, yeah. So I'm assuming you stand guards. Again, we don't need to role play all this out. Everybody's Nobody's stupid enough to just everybody crash out, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, night passes. Go ahead and click long rest on all your sheets. Night passes without incident. Um, however, in the early morning, who is the person to take the fourth watch? Oh God, I guess I'll do it. It doesn't. Yeah. It's not. It's no. not. It's nothing that you need to roll for. I just. I mean, presumably, like we only have two watches, right? With uh, Jimmy and Daka, uh, or Jimmy and Daka, because like me and it's only me and Elliot that really needs to sleep, right? Maybe it does. I, I, it meditates, doesn't it? I would like to spend some time awake as well. I would like to spend an hour tinkering to maintain my mechanical scroll with ineffective claws for hands. <laughs> <laughs> Where yeah, was that in, during in, all in, the in fights? Your rest and relaxation period and how you how you tend to uh, zen with the universe. You go to work with 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 tiny uh, <laughs> tiny uh, wrench and screwdriver mm -hmm. <laughs> upon your uh, upon your your. Your metallic uh, mechanism there, yes. Are you sure? Okay, so that... Daka will have taken. I'm just gonna elect somebody. Daka will have taken the last, uh, the last um, watch. Okay. Daka sees one of the workers from the manor approaching the house um, in a just a just in a not a fast manner, but a fast walk. He also notices two or three others moving. To other houses in the immediate area, as he kind of looks out over the over the over the area. Right. Okay. Well, um, I, I, I. So, does he look friendly? Yeah, he just he, he looks like a worker. He's 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 in their their garb, and okay. you know he's moving towards your section of homes. A second is moving towards these section of homes. A third is moving towards these section of homes. Okay. And that's kind of all you can see. I'm just assuming you're kind of on one of the bedrooms on this side because I wanted you to be able to see this home here where yes. you were having all the issues. Yeah. And um, you're three I, asleep I, at this point. Oh. You can all be awake. It's it's this oh. is not this is not like a, a four a.m. thing. It's just okay. this is the first thing you notice in the morning. Okay. Right. Well, let's. Well, this is good, right? Let's just see. Let's just see what's going on, guys, and and just you know. We, we can Flagel hopefully has calmed down a little bit now and we can we can greet oh, this chap I, and see what's going on I think we drag the cultist out in front of him and say I think we should keep yeah. it up our sleeves at first yeah we're not dragging them out just say like hello friend <laughs> friends <laughs> okay so who's who's going to be the approacher and, and how are we doing this real quick Doctor. Uh -oh. <laughs> Okay, so you come out alone. You come out all th three of you, two of you. Uh, I'm staying inside with Jimmy and I, uh, little Jimmy and the uh, cultists. I'll come out with Daka. I'll okay. stay with Dado. Five will slap. Okay, perfect. So you come outside and and um and there's a little bit of surprise on his face, mm. right? Just like oh, didn't realize anybody was in there. Type of surprise. He goes, "Is was there anybody else with you in there?" Yeah, there's the the four of us from this uh, from this mission are still here. We're all we're all we're all okay. Um, I what, thought you guys left. Uh, well, no, we we actually investigated something. Um, how's Finches and Faps? Are they are they still all right? Is everybody? Well, is we're everything out looking okay for Finches anymore? right now. Nobody's seen him since last night. Faps oh. is in the house right now, but we're we're all just looking around. Have you seen Finches? Um, no, we haven't. No. There's nobody else in that house with you. Are you sure? Well, you know, <laughs> there are there are some people in the house, yeah. Um... So he starts to move towards the house. Again, not in like this fast sprint, like you're not going to catch me, but just like, I'm going to go check this house out. It's he's, he's obviously very concerned. There's a concerned look on his face. Yeah, that's good. I, I'm just going to go, I'm just going to go with him, like, and read his reaction when he sees these cultists and read the cultists' reactions when they see him. I think that's the okay, most so, important thing to do, right? Uh, Elliot, anything from you, sir? No, I stay silent and follow Daka back inside okay, the house. Okay, so every, he enters the house. You guys follow in behind him, I'm assuming? No, um, no, in front, in front. Oh, I'm in behind. Front, okay, so you, I'm sorry? I'm behind. Okay, so Daka opens the door for him, presumably, and steps yeah. in. He comes in, and he beholds, um, you know, he, his, his eyes open up wider, right? He looks down. There's a friggin' 10-year-old kid, <laughs> right? There's, there's two guys in red robes. 
that have um, that have that are tied up, but none the worse for wear, right? Um, and then of course Dimitriov and 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 uh, Flargo Snark. The hell are those guys? Hmm. Can I have like a perception roll or whatever to see if like you know? Absolutely. Because I want to know if 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 I want to know if he's g- genuine and if they're genuine, like you know, if they know each other and stuff. If, if, if take a perception roll. Absolutely. Can you? Are you able to do? You have access to your sheet here. I do. Yep. I, Oh fuck! <laughs> I'm an idiot. He's he's. I mean, honestly, he's surprised. It doesn't take much to realize that. Okay. Now, again, he is a salt of the earth person, right? He's not a member of the Gray. He's not a member of one of Dimmy's military units. He's not a member of the clergy. He's he's a laborer. Mm. It's not hard to read him. Yeah. So we don't think he's a secret cultist. We, he's just a laborer. Who are these guys? Where did you find these guys? Are you saying that the working class are idiots? <laughs> No, I'm saying these guys are laborers. <laughs> I uh, I sense some elitism. <laughs> toxic, <laughs> only toxic from elitism. You guys, because that's your perception of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, these guys. The toxic elitist. <laughs> do you do you know do you know what lies beneath the manor? Um... <laughs> dirt. Yeah, there's some dirt. Yeah. Um, what are you uh... talking about? What... Is Finches in here? Do you have Finches tied up too? <laughs> no, no. Oh, we need we need to speak to Faps. He starts yeah. he starts backing up slowly towards the door. We okay. need to speak to Faps. No, don't worry, we're friends. That we we these guys, you know, there's some kind of call. We don't know what's going on. We want to get to the bottom gonna, of this. This is this is. I'm gonna go get this is this is. If you've killed Finches, if you've done anything to Finches, this is no guy. We haven't these heard guys him. attacked us. We went down this hole in that bloody cottage over there. All four of us mm. went down. There were giant rats. We were attacked by giant boars <laughs> on the way here. We found a pit full of bloody cultists. We had a big old fight with We almost died. We found more cultists when we came back up. We want to find out what's going on here as much as you do. Something mad is going on. It's all screwed up. So we want to see Faps now and uh, yeah, have a good old chat with him, all right? You'll have to excuse my friend here. He hasn't heard of the phrase, loose lips sink ships. <laughs> <laughs> He's, he continues I mean, this verbal barrage hits him he continues to back out this door and the other um, laborer from this home Find comes running out of the home just at the at the uh, not at the top of his lungs but Omar Omar and you see the guy whom you're with turn around mm. we'll see, there's some dead bodies there by the way they're, they're the guys that attacked us <laughs> don't be surprised <laughs> this is going so well for you. <laughs> so, um, so the other laborer runs up, right? And he goes, in, in that house, there's... And then he sees the other cultists and he looks and he starts pointing at them. Those guys, they're, they're, in, they're dead. They're in, and there's in the closet, there's this hole. This is... And they're just... I mean, then they start just going back and forth, just fast as, uh, fast as flipping can be, right? Going back and forth, jibber-jabbering. What do we do? How do we? Well, this isn't what we signed up for. What is this place? How do you? Da, 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 da. Take mm. us to Faps, please. Yeah. Yeah, calm down, guys. We're here to do a job. We're professionals at this. We'll handle all the danger. Take us to Faps and we'll sort everything out. You're professionals? You're killing everybody. Exactly. So he goes, right, he goes we, we've got it. We've got it. What are we going to do with those guys? Somebody needs to prepare, get there. I want you to prepare a room in the mansion for them. And uh, I wouldn't. To see Faps, please. Okay, so, so, um, so they. You, you, long story short, you calm them down. You move back up towards the mansion, mm-hmm. and you get to the to the small courtyard area of the mansion outside. Right. Um, the outside of that courtyard, there are several other workers now outside. You can see that they were um, looking around, searching the, lo- the the forested area, just not deep. They were just going in and kind of looking. Um, Faps is nowhere to be found as of right now. Has anyone seen Faps? <laughs> Hello. So Omar takes his leave of you and goes back inside the house. <laughs> Say that again. Has anybody seen me fapping? <laughs> uh, where is Faps? I want to see Faps. I didn't realize how great that was going to be when I named him that. <laughs> I want to see Faps. 
Guys, there's something horrible happening here. We need to see FAPS now. This is an emergency. Okay, so FAPS emerges from the home. He's still dressed well. He's still, he's got it a little bit more together. Still that somber, dark, brooding face. Hmm. What do you know about my brother? We... I, d I don't know anything about your brother. We haven't seen your brother. We do know that there is tunnels that we believe lead to the mansion underground. What tunnels? And... What are you talking about? Well, there's a house down there with a trap door in one of the child's bedrooms. And it led us down into a tunnel where there was some kind of ritual happening. Lots of people were being cut up and murdered. We we carried these two with us. Uh, they're part of some kind of cult. It may be related to where your brother is. We need to have a look at the mansion. We so need... right away, Omar comes comes back around, kind of in view. I've seen it. I've seen at least. I've seen the house. I know there's a trap door. There's a ladder that goes down, and there were a couple of dead bodies in that house. And he points to the house that that you were explaining. I have seen that. So we need to we need to find we we need to have a look around the mansion. Um, we will do our best to find your brother, and if he's still alive, we'll do everything we can to to return him to you. Uh, we 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 asked these guys about some things related, but we we didn't know about your brother, right? So feel free feel free to question. Uh, maybe he's not this one. He's a bit of a badass, but the other ones you could question about. Uh, <laughs> see if uh, you know. See if they know anything. Oh, I mean. He looks he looks these he looks these cultists up and down a little bit, right? And he's just looking at him, and he goes. You need to take them, take that kid, and you need to leave. I don't know what, what, what part you've had in all of this. I've got to find my brother. You need to get out of here. We came here to investigate disappearances. We told you that yesterday. Now there is a disappearance. Do you not believe us? We are not here for no reason. We came here purposely to solve the cause of the disappearances. We're here to help. We're not here to hinder, like... We are on your side. We want to know what has happened to your brother as much as you do. We were literally attacked by cultists trying to stop this exact situation from happening. If we work together, we may still have time to find him. All right, Dimitrov, give me a... Um, give me a... Let's Bridge do... Let's do a pers. Let's see your charisma. Yeah, you've got a solid charisma. You're solid at this. Give me a persuasion check, but give it to me with advantage. You see, you seem the boat the most together, right? Um, Daka seems the most organized, but you seem the most passionate, if you will. Hmm. So, F Faps looks down. You know, and, and I only say down because, you know, the, the house is a little bit, you're, he's, he's, he's above you as far as the terrain is concerned. <laughs> what do we do? What do we do with the kid and those two in the red? Uh, we need to prepare. Well, I'm ho I was hoping to prepare a room for them. Obviously, we're going to keep them separate. But, uh, I mean, your mansion must have a, a lot of room. We need to have a look around the mansion as well we need to find out where this tunnel there, there, there is some sort of way into this mansion um from underground and we we need to do our best to find that we can put the kid and the uh the the cultists in a room somewhere and is that have you got anything sufficient in the mansion i'm not taking i'm not taking responsibility for those three and when what makes you think there's something below this house we know there's yeah this 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 goblin house. Wizard, wizard mate, he knows. How did you throw him under the bus? <laughs> Instantly. Instantly. <laughs> tell him, tell him, why don't you tell them what you know, Fargo? What, what do you, what do you know? What do you mansion know about my brother? The, ma the mansion's connected to a cave system underneath the man, uh, underneath this, uh, this area. That's, that's what we know. And we encountered cultists in that cave area in a, in a ritual, carving people and animals up in pools of blood. And then when we got out of the cave area with prisoners, we were attacked by more cultists, and now yeah. your brother is gone. Also, like, we, we tied two up, and they escaped, 
and they headed off down the tunnels towards the mansion. So they may be inside or just outside. You might be in danger in the mansion. Hmm. At that, he kind of looks over his shoulder at Omar, and you see him kind of give one of these, and Omar goes back into the house with three or four workers right away. Hmm. I'm not taking responsibility for those three. We will look after those. Okay, that's fine. We will look after them. Just we we need to have. What are you going to do with them while you're searching around? And what do, what do you want to do next? What's your plan? We want to find out where the, where the tunnels are. We need to find the connection. We want to protect you. We need to find your brother. Like like, we want to help you like as much as possible. Does the mansion have a cellar? The mansion's got two or three larders, but there's nothing in them other than, than some foodstuffs and some storage. We're this, in them daily. There's got to be well, a way if, down. I mean, what we could do is at, we could go back to this house and go back down there and explore and try and find it that way, right? And try and find the way from below to back up because we, it could take us forever to search the mansion, right, for a way down. Well, if you think you're searching this mansion, you're mistaken. Not after my brother's gone. You've got bodies in one of the houses. You've got two this cultists, thing, whatever like, these there are. There are cultists here that, this, that appeared attacking us the same night your brother went missing. I have to admit, I'm starting to share Flagelstarp's irritation. We were sent here on official business from Kalorn of Victor. We were attacked, set upon by cultists on your property. And whether you believe our intentions or not, those bodies back there speak to our effectiveness. So if you want to search this manor, we will. <laughs> wow. Okay, that's, give me a uh, give me a persuasion check from you, Elliot, with advantage. It's <laughs> a, a ballsy gnome, <laughs> that right there. He steps up, man, big. <laughs> wow. we, 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 did you say normal or? With advantage. Oh, with advantage. With advantage. I mean, this is a very fiery situation. You've... Whoa, good luck. Oh, look at this guy. All right, so. Um... Is that no on cocaine? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. This is the sequel to Cocaine Bear. It's Cocaine No. Cocaine No. That was glorious. Elliot, um, take. Um... <laughs> Take, uh, what's it called for that, please? Oh, um, inspiration. Inspiration, please. Mm. If you don't already have oh, it. Oh, I, I, I had it. I didn't think I, maybe I forgot to unclick it or whatever. I, I have it now. Yeah, anyway, that's so. okay. Um, so, Faps looks down at you and he is, he takes a deep breath, right? Like, he's, now he's contemplating things because he's heard from, I mean, there's, you guys are obviously sending him a friggin' message. It's uniform in nature. Nobody's speaking over anybody else you know, as far as like different details, right? Okay. Nobody's getting inside this house, just so you know, until I find my brother. If these cultists, as you call them, and he points at them, not like he's denying what they are. He's just saying, if that's what you're calling them, if there's a way in there, I'm going to make sure this damn house is secure and I can't do it with strangers running around in there. I appreciate what you've done so far. If there is another entrance over there, if there is another entrance over there through that ladder tunnel, whatever the flip it is, that's your way into the catacombs until I can figure out what the hell's going on here. But I'm locking this place down until I find my brother. Well, I need something from you. I need something from you. I, I need some sort of signal from the mansion to the house if you're in trouble so we can come and help like is there any way you can start like a fire or like a bonfire as a signal or anything we happen to have the horn of gondor in here <laughs> um no so so <laughs> <laughs> no so he will uh, <laughs> he'll, he'll tell you um He'll say, if there's any trouble, if there's any problems, I can send one of my manservants down there, without a doubt. You need to, yeah, I just... But I'm I, locking I, this place down. Now, I, I want to know what his plan, and he looks right at Daka, because he knows Daka is a member of the Grey. I want to know what his plan is for those two cultists there. How many what are we doing with the kid? How many servants do you have? He kind of looks at you side-eyed. Enough. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, can you? He can still you doesn't spare? Try, you can tell he's he's not he's not being a prick. He just doesn't quite know you yet. Can, can you spare some servants to, to to take these prisoners back to Victor with the kid, while we help you out here and search the ca- uh, search the tunnels underneath? Can we trust them? No. No, I don't. I'm I'm trust. I'm getting I'm I I know I. Can we can we take a sidebar here? Can we discuss it? Absolutely, them? you may take a I, sidebar I, here. I, I, I'm mm. I'm suspicious of Faps, honestly. Like, who knows? But if his brother's missing, maybe he did his own brother or something. Why is he so adamant about not letting us in the mansion? Yeah, I, I think that's, that's reasonable. I think that's reasonable. I wouldn't. I, you know, well, I don't know. Now I he mentions it, I don't know. I think that's I, I I I agree completely with with your sentiment, Elliot. But we need to do something about the prisoners. We can't leave them. And we can, we need to do something about Jimmy. He needs to get back to Victor safely, ASAP. True, but if they are bad boys, then you know we're just handing Jimmy to them, right? Handing them their own like, The thing back. is, the thing is, right, right. It is weird that he won't let us in the mansion, but he does genuinely seem concerned about his brother, which means I, I don't weird. trust him, but I trust the the workers uh, to not like they didn't seem. Well, let's just see what he says. Okay, let's so like Dimit- Dimitriov, since you brought it up, did you want to take a perception check of Faps? Because oh. you guys were, 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 you guys have discussed literally everybody, like his two manservants. You haven't done anything with him yet. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I will. And since you're kind of brought that up in this conversation, I'm going to now give you that opportunity. So, perception, yeah? Perception. Oof. He, to you, he seems genuinely concerned about his brother and about the security of the manor. We'll just say that. This is similar to how, you know, uh, somebody within the military would feel about allowing other individuals into the base unguarded. Yeah, I think it's completely reasonable that he'd have a bit of trepidation about just these two cultists and that. You know, I think that's quite reasonable that he'd be like that, to be honest. I mean, does he does he really have the horn of Gondor? <laughs> does he does he really have a choice? Can we not force our way into the mansion? Uh, well, I don't think we want to. Like at the end of the day, I think we're gonna we're gonna get into the mansion through the catacombs if we survive whatever's down there. Like. Just seems a, a long I'm... trek to go back down there and downstairs and through the tunnel. But at I least we at least we I know think there's that's a not shit idea actually. Like I I I like I agree that that's the simplest and fastest way to find the the entrance to the mansion. I, I like disagree. It's gonna, be, it's gonna dis- be faster searching down there for the entrance up than it's yes. gonna be to search the mansion for yeah. for the entrance down. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I disagree with that. I don't think we should try and force our way in. First of all, we're here like to help him, right? Like, so us forcing our way in and stuff is bad. And uh, we, it, it could take us forever to search the mansion and, and not find the secret passageway in or whatever. I think we've got a much better chance of finding a way up than finding a way down. If if you want to go down, then we go down. I'm just very suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> we... Hey, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Stay couch, people. I'm just very suspicious that we we came here to investigate, and we've still not entered the mansion yet. How can this? Yeah, you know, but but fine, fine. Mm, that's a good point. That's a good point. We, we, good we could point. remind him that we have a standing invitation for supper. That's a good. Uh, that but, is actually but, that is a good. That is a good point. That is a good point. To be fair, earlier. Really but but yeah. yo, know, let's 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 take the tunnel. Yo, know, sure, I'll, I'm with you. That's I a good point. We, we want to play. go down. We go down. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point, uh, so so we, we, we'll go. Obviously, we've gone our way to huddle here, and then we'll go back and we'll say it. Who is it? Fa- is Faps left? Is it Faps? Faps, Faps. Is the one is left. Yeah, yeah, him, yeah him, Faps, the darker, was... the darker haired so, one, the, Faps, the more uh, breathing, more serious one is. Yeah. Was the last time he saw his brother as well? Ask him that. <laughs> okay, God, I thought he was. What did you say, Dim? <laughs> it was, was the last, last time. time saw... Something else. He saw his brother. <laughs> <laughs> How long has it been? <laughs> <laughs> Fabs, how long's it been? <laughs> Dude, your name's Fabs. How long's it been? <laughs> I gotta be careful with the name I give these people. Man. This, is, this no, sidelines us more than anything. <laughs> oh my god! Right, so go back and we say, look. uh my associate Elliot is probably a great point here. We we've been sent to investigate this mansion, this area. Um, We've we've established okay, so that there's the some kind you of say, the minute you say investigate, mm. his eye rises. Mm. 
What do you mean investigate? Well, Kalon the Third is, was sentenced to investigate. You guys said you were here to check out this area, and maybe help us out with the farming. Yeah, we, we we are checking and investigating. We, you know, your brother gave us permission to take samples and stuff. We're investigating. What else and do I need to know about this? Now that investigation has turned into something a little bit more sinister and serious. <laughs> well, Fascinating. Seeing as your brother has disappeared and fucking cultists are killing everyone. <laughs> so in, in the past, there have been disappearances. I don't know if you know the background, the history of it. Well, you must do, right? Because of your auntie yeah, or whatever. My I don't aunt know was one of them and yeah. some of my three cousins. Yeah, so you know, you know the history of disappearances. So, you know, there's something... You think this has something to do with that? Yeah. It's happening again. Yeah, it could. There could well oh, be. Fucking no. <laughs> there could well be something there. So, part of our remit was to investigate the mansion. So, you know, if we, we don't want to spend a long time in there, but uh, we don't want to think that you're hiding something. You know, like, you know, I, I well, respect I'm not hiding it. anything, and it doesn't matter. That's my house. That's our house. Mm -hmm. And I, so, I respect like that. I, I respect said. that. I, but, but you know, you got to see our point of view as well, right? And it, not just ours, but the point of view of the magistrate. Town, yeah. ma ma magistrate. Mm. When we come back and report that, well, yeah, that, that's a whole different conversation I'm going to have with him because now that I found out that he's sending four people out here to spy on us, I'm a little bit upset that's about not that. What but that's beside the point. We need to find finches. So yeah. we're going to go lock down this house, make sure none of this cultist shit's going on in there. I don't need to know what you guys are doing with those two and with that kid. Well, if you're not letting us in the house, it's none of your concern. Mm. That's fine. <laughs> then he turns around and he tells his guys to head back in and he leaves two outside and he's like, and he heads back into the house. All right, let's All right. go, let's go, boys. Ah, shout, can we have our dinner? No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well. <laughs> We've not eaten in ages. That poor meat was a long time ago. Yeah. Let's eat some well, we rat. Let's eat some rat <laughs> testicles. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what are what are, what are we doing here, boys? Well, let's go right, let's right. back to the house. Right, dive into that tunnel head first. Mm. Okay, so I quick quick sidebar here, out of character, of course. What are we doing with said cultists? What are we doing yeah, with said Jimmy? Exactly, Jimmy? There's no fucking way we're leaving them and going down. Bring them with us. The how about how about the one that won't talk? How about well, one won't talk, right? One won't talk. Full stop, oh, right? We've talk. established that. <laughs> we could try and make the other one talk, give us some information or whatever. We we could try and get something out of him. Like we haven't really tried to get much out of him at all, have we? We could we could no. really we could sit down, we could torture him, you know. Yeah. I'm okay with torture. Like that's still legal, right? That you know, this isn't yeah. there's no Geneva Convention or whatever in this world. You know, police brutality is not really the hot topic that it is in twenty twenty three. Torture <laughs> yeah. may not contravene the laws of man, but it contravenes the laws of God. The chief engineer has no truck with this kind of approach. Uh, your your souls will be tainted and I will have no part in it. You don't so, have to have a part in it, but you know. I don't. You'd have any party either. I'll quite happily flay this son of a bitch if it gets us <laughs> what we really need. Tainted, uh, <laughs> Dimitriov, I I appeal to you. I have I have healed you a little bit and also gotten you away a lot. But you know, p please, please, this isn't this isn't the the way to take. We have a line of investigation. We don't need to torch them. Well, you right, need to you right need now. To give me an alternative. We invest. We go down the tunnel. So, what? So, what? What, what, what is your plan? Okay, we torch them for information, but then we still have them. I mean, that I'm doesn't... not. I'm not against. Like, well, then we might know what we're facing down yeah, there. So yes, we've, we've got no idea of the numbers. We've got no idea of the world. The problem is, is if they think we're gonna kill them, they can tell us anything anyway. Like, how can we really? Exactly. Them? Torture is not an effective means of uh, discovering information. Yeah. Oh, I like, no, nice try no, saying that without any fingers. <laughs> Try, trying anything. I'll say whatever you not... want if I open your fingers. Well, this is, I, I tell you what, this is Flagle's fault anyway, because he keeps putting people to sleep, so now they all gets upset when we can't kill him. So he <laughs> stops putting people to sleep. Yeah, Flagle just puts them to sleep so we can kill them. <laughs> That's how I get by. How the fuck do you think I could kill anyone if I am in a fight one before? Stop. <laughs> you totally wake up. But you're stopping me from doing that. 
<laughs> well, if you don't want to have this mess constantly, you need to stop. <laughs> I mean, we, we could untie them and give them their weapons back and then kill them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's, just, that's a little bit of a grey area there. Yeah. yeah, we could put them 30 foot away. <laughs> Prep an action. <laughs> Zap them, I, shoot uh, them. I put off my glove, I slap him around the face, and I, I challenge you to a duel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what's our plan, gentlemen? Let's keep rolling here. Oh, God, it's it's tough, it's tough. I mean, it's, it's very tough. It's especially <laughs> tough that Elliot doesn't like torture. That's that's the main sticking point. Because we well, we then need then to press. I, I don't think it is. I don't think it is the main sticking point, right? The sticking point is what do we do with the cultists? Tortured yeah, or not? To, and, and, you know, thinking back, Daka, to your, not necessarily your use of torture, but the use of, we'll say, heavy-handed tactics, we'll say that. It is not always, you know, it does not always re result in what it is that you're looking for. Sometimes no, but... it will steal them further. Sometimes they'll tell you the combination to mom's safe. We need to make at least a basic attempt to get information from the one that isn't as is insane, right? We, we need to have some idea of the numbers, some idea of what's down there, what they're doing. Like, if we can, we have to, we have to attempt something, right? Some idea of numbers, at least. I think that's the from most your, important from your, thing. From your inquisition before, you guess that you would have had, a, now I'm, I'm, I'm not saying this to be a prick, all right? <laughs> you probably would have had an easier shot getting that out of the first two yeah, of course, than the second yeah. two. The yeah. second two, they you you still get the feeling that they're more, they're 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 up they're further up the food chain. We'll say that, right? If there's mm. a cultist food chain, they're <laughs> further up it. Can I cast a spell on one of them? You may do whatever you like, Elliot. Well, I don't know if this will work, but I want to cast command on the weak one. Okay, go ahead. If if we're going to do this, then at least let's try and do it without hurting them. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, I need to get my yeah. We we had a long sleep right now, so I can get all my slots back. If you if you hit a long, did you hit long rest and click? Is this overnight? Uh oh, maybe I didn't. Go ahead and hit it again. You're fine. Okay. Oh yeah, there we go. It must have not done that yet. Cast command. I, I don't want him to approach, drop, flee, grovel, halt, or or any like that, but I want him to talk. I want him to talk. Because <laughs> your command is talk. About. No, it's a one word command, remember? <laughs> the, the comply. Word. Comply. <laughs> cast the comply. No, yeah, comply. I'll cast comply. the third one. This. <laughs> you have five seconds to comply. <laughs> <laughs> A 209 him. <laughs> I, I do charm person. Oh. Well, Ellie, okay. Do you want well, to I... take that spell back since you didn't really think that through? <laughs> well, I I mean, I, I assume it's not going to work right and I can't like get them to actually talk. But I, I'd still... Well, I'd, I'd, I, not, I, I think I've committed, really. Okay, so I'll tell you this. You know that a com the command spell or, or your ability to command an individual will say more in character, right? Um, utilizing the word talk is too ambiguous. Mm, sure, sure, sure. We'll say that. But Your experience like... as a cleric has taught you that that is a very ambiguous use of the spell. If Dimmy and Jimmy, like, get in his face, and, like, I cast command, and Dale cast charm, like, might he just not just be, like, overwhelmed by all the all the shit flying at him? The uh, <laughs> if I manage to charm him, like, he's going to consider us friendly and talk. Okay, we'll, we'll, shall we start he with that then? He may not talk, but he will consider you friendly, yes. Shall we, shall we go for the charm then? That seems appropriate. Mm. Just tell him we want to be cultists. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he'll believe that. <laughs> <laughs> we just kidnapped you because we want to... I mean, when he's, when he's charmed, he's going to believe Let's... anything. He's an idiot. Let's be friends. Well, we need, to, we need to get the other one away then, right? We need to gag the other one. And, oh yeah, uh, sure. I'll, I'll gag him with my axe. <laughs> okay, he'll talk. <laughs> okay, so um, are you gonna are you gonna charm person? Is that what you're? Oh, we've got no other option. Are we? Like honestly, like we just need to get cracking. Hmm. I think we should charm him if you want to. They flog us up. 
I mean, um, I'm I'm just doing it since like that's what you seem to be. Is it a spell? Or is do you not want some idea of numbers and what's down there and stuff? Like, do you not want some idea? I just want to go in blind. I, I, mate, I'm quite happy just to steam in there and hack everything. We we steamed in everywhere else. To be fair. Yeah. I, I, I'm not... But I'm just trying to with... role play. I think I think you would want to right. know, especially if you were like yeah. a policeman type person. You wouldn't just want to charge in like a lunatic. You'd want to know how many men there were and you know that sort of thing. So let's charm him and see if we can get him to talk. I mean, it's it's, it's instead of an acid splash anyway. So like... <laughs> Jesus Christ, Jimmy! <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? Nothing. You didn't say a thing. All right, so you want to try to charm him? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and cast it, and then he gets his saving throw for that. Yeah. Here comes the natty. Oh, no. Oh, <sighs> your spells. God damn it, Jackball. Why are you so good at rolling dice? <laughs> hey, it's a computer program, man. I don't do it, all right? <laughs> so... That's what so, Rick um, says. <laughs> he just he just kind of sh he shakes his head a little bit and and kind of clears his eyes, <clears throat> um, clears his clears his throat and then and and then the lucidity returns back into him, and he's and he's he's kind of looking back at you again. Okay. Well, so we're here. We are at the crossroads. Do we? Two questions. Do do we? Do we torch them? I obviously I say no, but I mean that's up to you guys, isn't it? I mean not a whole lot can stop you. And what do we do with them, torture or not? Do we, you know, when we get out of the tunnels? I I am still very much of the opinion that yeah. we should definitely go back to Victor with these guys and Jimmy because we're not like how are we? Jimmy's the main problem. He is a problem. But you know, Faps has been probably killed. Like we, missing, we no, sorry, Finch, Finch, Finch's, Finch's. Finch's can... is missing, presumed dead. Faps could also die if we don't yeah, sort yeah. this out. Yeah, we value the life of Jimmy over the life of Faps. And... Yes, definitely, one hundred percent. It's a no, kid. No, it's a kid. If you All save a kid, equally. if you save You're a kid, what do you get? A good feeling. If you save Finch's, what do you get? A few million pound. <laughs> I mean, ser 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 seriously, like th this is. <laughs> I, I, as a chaotic neutral, cannot value the life of like a rich person over the life of a kid. Like th that's not. Okay, what you can I've got the answer. I've kid? got the answer, Flago. Hey, little Jimmy. I, was, I like I put put my, put my head in his rustle his hair with my hand and I say, do you want to go and fight some cultists or do you want to go back to Victor? Serious about bringing him down into danger either. To, to be fair, he brought himself down. Mm. Yeah, but he doesn't know any better. He's a fucking I kid. Love, I love listening to you guys try to argue. We really want to go forward, but this damn kid is stopping us <laughs> like a parent, right? Only Dimmy understands how this works. <laughs> We really want to go on that vacation, but this anchor with a diaper on it is stopping us. I, like, it, you, you, in your guys' characters, like, you cannot be serious about, like, being okay with bringing him down into danger. But I'm not, I'm, no, but I'm not okay with leaving Finches to his fate and leaving Faps to his fate. Yeah, we're here now, mm. and, you know, it's upon us to do something. But there's no way we're doing that without bringing the kid into danger. Yeah, yeah, it's a conflict for sure. But mm. you know, like I say, the the kid did bring himself here. To be fair, and and you know, the the danger is is more real for the guy who was missing than the kid who is with four armed and trained, you know, fighters. Yeah, and he's how old is he? Twelve years old. Nearly a man, isn't he? This again. Wait, what? One at a time. <laughs> He's twelve years old. He's nearly a man, isn't he? He'll be down the mine yeah, soon. Yeah, I mean, honestly, if the kid if the kid got here by himself, like surely he can get back by himself. Like, it's I don't think he's an issue. I I think we part ways with Jimmy, tell him to go back by himself, and then I think. Um, don't mind. Okay, so let, Jim did bring up a good point, right? Daka did. Um, and he and I talked about this just slightly offline anyway, just kind of laughing about this. Like, how in the hell does this little kid do this, right? But, you know, let's let's be honest, back in the... Now, this isn't necessarily the Middle Ages, but back in the Middle Ages, you were married by 12 and had your own farm by 14, right? And you died at 30. <laughs> so these, these, these children are 
once you reach a certain age, you are a little bit more self-sufficient, right? It's not like, again, we're not thinking in 2023 terms where we walk our kids to school every day, right? You know, this kid would have gone in, this kid and any of the kids in that area, provided there wasn't like a wartime situation, would have been out, you know, till late hours screwing around in the woods, right? Would have been fishing overnight at the docks, would have been doing, the, you know, the, those types of things. That doesn't necessarily mean you should cut him loose. I'm just saying don't think of him in 2023 terms and how we think of our kids today. I, I definitely maybe, would agree maybe with that. Help us, maybe. Yeah, give him a sword. Mm. Uh, Give him a crossbow. <laughs> Arm the kid. <laughs> Give him a crossbow. Give him a crossbow. Hey, little Jimmy, have you ever fired a crossbow before? <laughs> you ever been to a Turkish prison? <laughs> <laughs> you ever seen a grown man naked? <laughs> Easily one of the best films ever. It's a great film, Demi. Oh, Demi, that's that's got to be one of the next ones there, uh, Daka. But back to this. So, what's the plan, gentlemen? It's a good question, isn't it? Is it God, it's hard. It would be hard being an adventurer, wouldn't it? It would, wouldn't it? Bloody hell. Yeah, God, At it's least way it's, 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 a group adventurer. Like, yeah, yeah, it's wait, way better just fucking playing video games in your own hours, isn't it? <laughs> Standing around going, what do we do with the kid? What do we do with this? Let's make a decision, right? I say we bring the kid with us. I say the the, the two guys, we tie them up as best as we can in an attic in one of the houses. And I say we steam into that tunnel and we find out what the flip me is going on. Agreed. Yeah, I'm down with that. Dude. Escape. I hate that plan. They're going to escape. I hated the walking into the darkness, holding hands with you lot. But we'll I did it. Well, three of us have agreed, Flagel, so look, at the end of the day, it is yeah. it is what it is, isn't it? Look, you know, we've we go. got we to go coexist as a group, haven't we? And I'm going to walk over to Flagel. It sucks, I'm obviously. It, it would suck ruffle his goblin head, and happened. I'm going to go, come on, champ, you can do this. So, yeah, you can do it. I, like, we're, we're in this together. Like, I feel like a bond. I feel like a bond between when us. They, so when, when they kill us, and, like, like, I'm going to be will so kill, I, will die, I will die for you, Flagel. How, how about that? Right? Okay, so, I will die for you. Um, to go to, to, go to um, um, Dimitriev's plan, you, it would be very easy to you know, tie them up correctly, right? You can find things. You can use their cloaks. You can, there are ways that you could bound them better than just with your, your hemp and rope. We'd make you them a uh, human centipede. You could effectively slam them in a closet somewhere and just, you know, pile some shit in front of that door. Maybe even two separate closets so that they can't help each other, right? I'm yeah, thinking, and there is a very I, I, low I'm chance thinking, of them... Yeah. That I, I will it, roll to see if they can escape, but there's a yeah. very low chance of that happening in your estimation. I'm thinking, I'm thinking Luke Skywalker, Empire Strikes Back, when he's in the bear's cave, hanging up by his legs. He's going to be gagged as well. That, right? They'll die. That, that kills yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. That's a oh, good does point. it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the blood Sorry. rushes to your head, Dim, and you die. Mm. Well, mm. well, last time that happened, <laughs> I had a kid. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Problem solved. Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay, so you're going to tie up these two cultists. You're going to gag these two cultists. Um, you're going to separate them in two different closets. We'll say we it's can even put them in two different spent... houses. We can even put them in two different houses, right? Yeah, we'll just say those houses that you spent the night in that clump. Yeah. So yeah, you, yeah, you, how, you... And can we blindfold them before we do this so they don't know where each other are? Exactly. Well? Absolutely. You, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, D do. Dimmy, you can wrap them in 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 swaddling blankets if you like. Uh, brother. Yes. I'm, I'm giving you full option here. I mean, I'm, I'm sure Elliot wants to bubble wrap them. You know what I mean? Like... <laughs> Okay, so we'll assume that the cultists, school. like I said, there will be a role to see if they're able to escape. Cook them dinner. Um, it'll be very, very <laughs> unlikely. You've done some very due diligence here, right? You're not just... Are, are there, like, uh, uh, sacks, like potato sacks that we can dump them in? Yes, potato sacks. Well? You can do whatever you want, Dato, just it's so we can move on. It's a farm. It's yes. a farm, right. So two okay. potato sacks. So no. they're, they're, they're backbound, gagged. The gagged with a potato. We, yes. Wait, within, wait, 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 wait. Within wait. one uh, potato sack each, stuffed into two different houses that is we it, then bar. 
<laughs> is it is it a medium sized potato sack or a large? Sack? It's an alien sized potato we, sack. We don't we don't you want to, to have like you too have to much bind their hands in front of their knees while they're kneeling in order for them to fit in these potato sacks. Can, 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 yeah. we, can we sew the potato sack slightly smaller? So yes, they I have take less out my sewing kit. I take out my sewing kit. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, so and now what? If, what if little? That what was little the Jenny? last adventure. I don't have a sewing kit in this one. <laughs> okay. Okay. What of little Jimmy? He comes with us. Yeah. So well, we we can talk to him, right? He's human. We can talk to him. Say, hey, Jimmy. What, what, what so do you think? We can talk to him. I'll so talk to him. so you know. Hey, Jimmy. Uh, torture him. Hey, Jimmy. <laughs> I'm not talking to torture. Him. Talk to him. Hey, Jimmy. Uh, so you know, look. Did you hear what Finches was saying? You know, it's they don't have you in the mansion. Um, you you could you could I don't know. I mean, it's up to you. You could try and go back on your own, or you or you know you could stay with us, and we'll hopefully protect you. If you think I'm fucking leaving now, you're fucking wrong, man. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> This is the best. This is the best thing that's happened to me since I found that big ass friggin' sword behind that dude's house, and I stole it. <laughs> Stay close Good. to me, Jimmy. Good. Do you want a quaff bow, Jimmy? Can you fire a quaff bow? No, but okay. I got my, I got my, uh, I got my sling. Oh, okay. The sling yeah, is okay. the sling, man. I'm, I'm, I'm on point with the sling, man. You should see me, Doc. It's beautiful. Okay. Wait, how, uh, how about you show us? Go on, hit, hit that tree. <laughs> Down I, a I cave. Was, I was I was a hundred percent sure <laughs> you were gonna see hit that hit that goblin. Okay, before we get down the cave, right? <laughs> before we get down the cave, and we've got the guy, we've got the guy who definitely won't talk, and he's in his he's in his potato cave. Okay? Torture. <laughs> that's torture. That's it's torture. not torture. It's not torture. <laughs> hey, Jimmy, do you think you can hit that guy when he's sleeping? <laughs> that was definitely torture. <laughs> that is definitely torture. Yes. <laughs> I agree, it's hilarious. <laughs> but no, if we're not allowed to kill him or torture him for information, this is, we're not this allowed is to do big that. Difference between I mean, you, you can do what you want, but I, 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 how much damage does a slingshot actually do, right? Oh, it's it's just like game. being well, potentially a lethal. Well, to a goblin. Yeah, have you heard of David and Goliath? Yeah, in yeah. real life, more than it does in D and D. Okay, so okay, so um, what's our marching order, and what are we doing here, gents? Mm -hmm. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Mm -hmm. Who has the torch? Uh, that's a oh, good question. That's a good question. I think I still have it. I I, I will take the torch the back on you, Jim. So I, yeah, I, I don't want the torch. I think I think Elliot or Dimmy should have the torch because I need two hands to, to be able to. Give the torch handed. to Jimmy. My axe is two. Uh, Jimmy, Jimmy, what? What? Jimmy what? can have the torch. But but, but what if he runs off? Ooh. Yeah, he might, he might get scared. Well, that's a problem that we'll deal with then. He's the I, least... I, carry, I carry the torch. <laughs> no. I, no I yeah, I think it's bad idea. Yeah, Elliot, Elliot, Elliot carry the torch, I think. Take the torch. I'll do whatever the hell you want. <laughs> okay. How about you shut up, Jimmy? <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to be fair. I'm the guy that treats the, gym, the kid the best. <laughs> yeah, it's funny, isn't it? I, I guess you are pretty chaotic, Diddle, seeing as you're trying to murder every prisoner, but then <laughs> keep the kids safe. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, the kid is probably better in combat than Daedal. Wow. <laughs> I, I killed the cultist last turn. So yeah. what? Dimmy's Dimmy's leading the way. Right. We, we yeah, need. A, we need. A, we need. A, we need a torch. I'll yeah, take. The, yeah. I'll take the torch. Like we I need a torch, the... like yeah, thank you. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah. And I'll follow Dimmy. Yeah, uh, yeah, somebody yeah, needs yeah. to lead. Like, I think Elliot. Uh, well, no, so oh. I guess Flagle oh. leads because Flagle's got the night vision, right? Yeah. And slightly more movement. So I think yeah, I think Flagle leads because of the because of the. Uh... But but Dimmy keeps going now, first. Yeah. Dimmy does keep going first, but I think Flagle <laughs> should lead because he's got longer night yep, vision. Get, right? get Flagle out about ten feet in front. All right, now stop there because you haven't gone any further down this northern tunnel yet, right? Yeah. Mm. yeah. So okay, we're just going to assume, just so you know, don't worry, we're just going to assume Jimmy is with you until we get to a point where I need to drag him forward, okay? Yeah, yeah. all right, cheers. And is there any point in doing a perception check to see? Right. For no. sounds. So what are you? Well, what are you checking for? Remember, you've left and now you've come back, and it's been overnight. Right. So what Noises are you looking for? or like. 
Yeah, they were doing that drumming before, weren't they? Yeah. Or chanting, chanting something. That like was that. as you moved down that southern tunnel further, remember? You could hear it as mm. you kind of got around that corner. Mm. And Any smell. indication of, like, you know, preparations or something that have been made overnight, things like that, you know? How long does so this the, the, rats, the rats are still, the rats' bodies are still there. Um, mm. They've been untouched. Um, you still have that smell of, of tinniness in the air, metal in the air, if you will, that same... The, the, you instantly, um, Daka, you instantly identify as blood. That's still, that smell is still very fervent in the air. Mm. Oh, let's yeah, crack I, on, let's crack on. I, no I, I don't see anything. Go, go, go. I'll follow. I'll be right behind you. Okay, is so there nothing um, this corner? you move up to that point and and you see what you see there, which is a separation of the caverns. Ooh, oh, God. There's one down here as well. There's yeah. something down here. Let's go to the left the, one the, first. The, the, the down one is leading us back to where we were. Right. How did you know uh, that? Because I've seen, like, that. <laughs> we've walked around that pillar. Can I do a perception check to see if Daedal's lying? <laughs> yes. Okay, so what are, we, what are we doing at this point, gentlemen? We'll, we'll, we'll get on Daedal and then we'll... Well, Daedal, what do you want to do? Left or right? I don't know. Left. What do you want to do? Right, we'll go left. We'll go left. Yeah. We'll do the normal Yeah, okay, I'll grab group. you, Daedal. Hold on right. a second. I'm going to move you, Daedal, to the next All right, point cheers. of... Uh... Cheers. So what, are we moving up on Daedal? Yeah, I was going to grab you guys and move you, but that's fine. Yeah, In fact, really. I can just grab all four of you. Okay, ahead again, you see another small crevice. Mm. With that same type of, of, of shoddy workmanship bridge. Mm. The smell is getting a little stronger back down now that you're deeper in this cave. The wind is, is I don't want to say the wind, but the breezes have slowed down a little now that you're not back by where there was an obvious draft coming from the tunnel down as, um, as the negative air kind of pulled in the draft. It's less here, so the smells are much stronger. It's a little more musty. You still, un, 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 in, interestingly enough, you still don't smell like the smell of cadavers or things like that. It's still mostly fresh blood. If you would, if you, if you, uh, it's still like a fresh blood smell. Hey, Flago, Flago. Question uh, before answer. Before, um... Answer. <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, proceed. Uh, no, um, can I tell, like, can I do, like, a perception check to tell uh, the direction we're taking here? Because, like, just, uh, I would assume that this leads us away from the mansion just based on the layouts of the caves, but I'm I'm realizing now that it might not actually it might be 100% 100 uh, accurate uh, representation of what the yeah, no, your, your, your under, yours and Elliot's underground sense tells you that you're moving north by northwest. You yes, are moving sir. somewhat towards the mansion. Um, you would are. The other, would the other tunnel be more towards the mansion? Oh, okay. I we see what you're saying. You don't, you, there's no way really to know that because that other tunnel could move jog right and then swing uh, really hard left again. Yeah, um, yeah, all right. yeah that's, I mean, that, that would be the first thing that I would say to you. Um, second thing is, is that you know that. The other tunnel had, to your knowledge, a dead end. So these are the only two ways to move yeah. forward, and you are yeah, moving I, forward. I, I, pri I primarily meant the crossroads we just passed, but fair enough. Yeah, that was going to be my follow-up question as well, so yeah, good. Honestly, my axe is going blunt right now. Let's crack on. <laughs> well, then what were we saying about the uh the smell it was uh still blood smell but yeah fresh blood yeah smells. move up move up to the bridge and then we'll have a look and have a... yeah no but move up move up as far as like jack will it's okay right, so that's oh, a my, more, more options well okay, we're so once again so them, looking right? back as you crossed as you crossed that that bridge there again you've got some some what appear to be wagon wheel or wheelbarrow or cart tracks that have slightly mm. worn their way into it. That bridge is there for, for stuff to be moved along. Cart tracks. We should bear yeah, north, can we right? Tell, to... can, we, can, we, can we tell which of these uh, tunnels that, like, the is more worn down by the cart tracks? 
Curiously enough, the tunnel to the right, you feel a soft breeze coming from it. The tunnel uh, to the left seems more dead. Uh, as far as like the air, dead. I don't want to. <laughs> mm -hmm. Zombies. Zombies. Coven, right. that's the DMs. So if that's I showed north. you. Yeah, yeah, head north, head north. Follow, follow mm. Daka. Follow Daka. Well, well, hang on. Isn't, isn't Daedal still in the lead? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah so I'm, just, I'm just, I'm just indicating. I guess I could have been doing, I could have been doing. I can't ping. How do I ping? You hold down the button. Yep, hold down. Oh, there we go. Elliot, move. I can't see. Come on. I can't go that fast, remember? I'm slower. Okay, so <laughs> hold on now. Before we keep moving here, what, what's our intention here, gentlemen? Is it investigate? Full frontal assault. <laughs> Full frontal. I think so, you know, moving somewhat stealthily, right? We've we've yeah, told okay, we've told so Jimmy to be quiet. Yeah, and as uh... you get to this, as you get to this area here, where the cave—I don't want to say the cave—where the tunnel more opens up, um, the breeze is stronger. It's not crazy in your face, and it's fresher air. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's almost that negative air effect that was happening as you were coming down the ladder as well. It's the water source that's poisoning everything, giving it a red tint. Come on, boys, let's have a look. I thought I thought worm the worms were poisoning it. I I think it's still the water source, mate. Like, how does the worm make a buffalo turn red? Well, no, the worm makes the soil turn red, and the buffalo eats the. the there's a bit of board on a buffalo. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> the the boar eats the soil. The, 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 the buffalo eats the soil. What are you on about? Eats mate? the plants. The, the trees were red as well, right? So the, the plants are red. But then eating the plants is okay because loads of people ate the plants and didn't turn red. So it's probably well, more we, something. We ate the person. buffalo. Maybe we not if you were boar. We ate the buffalo as well. I reckon oh, it's yeah. all, the cultists, all the cultists' clothes were red. So yeah, and, right, they're, let's, and they're called let's blood see cultists. Clothes. So what are we doing? Are we going right? Oh, we, we're going this way. Yeah, yeah we're yeah, going yeah. this way. Yeah. That's 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 Elliot. Bring your torch. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm so... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, what I will do is I will say this. So this, you as you proceed down this tunnel, every 30, 40, 50, 60, 100 feet, the breeze gets slightly stronger. The fresh air gets slightly cleaner. Things like that. Okay, after so about a, yeah, so we want to go down the other way to kill. No, stuff. no, no. After no. hold on, after about a mile or so, you emerge from the tunnel into a thicket of trees. Oh. Okay, yeah. So back back down the tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe investigate the fucking thicket. <laughs> it's just trees, isn't it? It's, uh, no, it's no, no. Want, the trees. I want to smell death. Come on, let's go. <laughs> go where? Down and left. Way. Down and left. Uh, yeah, 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 okay. Okay, so... Jesus, it... <laughs> there goes Dimitri. I was charging straight in, dude. <laughs> oh, Stay sorry, in combat sorry. formation. <laughs> what is combat? Okay, what, Daka, what? give oh, me, yeah, give yeah, me sorry. a, give me a perception check, Daka. Formation, isn't it? Perception. Oh, he's got the torch. Oh, fuck. Wait a second. Misclicked. Oh, what a misclick. Oh, oh dear. fuck me. Oh, very perceptive backer. Yep. Okay, so nothing seems amiss. Um, you know, <laughs> the, 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 the reason... <laughs> no, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me say why I preface that, right? So you just came from a fresh air area. It took you about 20 minutes to walk there, 15 minutes to walk there. Because you were taking your time. You're being cautious. You could walk a mile faster. On your way back, you're back in this ominous location, right? Your senses twinge back on. So I wanted to give you an opportunity to try to identify if there was something else that 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 since you were you came back into this location that I could then give you more information. But it seems the same location that you were before. I don't want to give you the impression that oh I'm telling you that there's something coming up. Right. I definitely got that impression. Just <laughs> <you> guys. <laughs> okay. Come on then, dude. Lead the way. I flaggle, sorry. And Elliot with a torch as well. All right. So yeah, he's got a full time. Elliot's got to be last, right? Because he's given the game away with a with a with a uh, torch. He's giving the game away. Mm. That's like his chalice, right? Oh, 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 oh! What's this? So uh oh, oh! That was nothing. You're fine, guys. Uh oh, yeah, oh! Slower pace, yeah. Slow pace. Well, I'm assuming you guys are already slow pacing it as it is. I'll tell you when to stop if I need you to because oh, it's, it's bloody that... like there's so many. Um, always left, right? Or n always left, right? Uh, 
Well, I'd say more northern, I, right? I have a bit oh, turned out, right? and I can see like the edge of another circle of light. Am I Ooh. supposed to see that? that that's that the last place we were at, wasn't it? Oh, yes, shit. yes, you can. You can oh. see another. Yes, your your vision is is there that you should be able to see that. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. No, it's it's different places. Oh my god. So it's a it's a light source uh, ahead of us. Some really oh, this go in for lions. Oh, this be, is a different be, place. Be quiet. <laughs> it's a different like, place. Yeah, it's a different place. Oh my god! The, what the fuck is that? It's a worm. It's a fucking worm. It's, it's a, a fucking worm. worm. It doesn't look like a fucking earthworm, does it? Jesus yes, it Christ! Does. It's brown. It looks like it could be twenty-two foot though, and very girthly. <laughs> Did you know that worms have no arms, or legs, or eyes? I'm sorry. <laughs> so what's, what are you doing? There's a fucking Two healing heads. cunt again, so we've got to watch for that bastard. Got to burst him down. Okay, don't don't meta the game on me, Doctor. I'll turn every light off. I'm how, not, does, how can you see this? Can't, can't we talk to each other, though? Because he's cheating. Oh, <laughs> I'm not cheating. But, 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 but I... Yeah, you, you, you're, you're, not, you're not supposed to see exactly what's happening in that circle. Okay, it's all right. Well, I, like I said, there's I certain things that we have, to, we have to just roll with. I, I can't that. see anything, by the way. So, good, good for you, Dimitriev. Thank you. Yeah. The, the thing is, I saw the edge of that. Uh, yeah, you saw the light. edge of the light, so now we've got a decision to make. So I know I know that there's a light source. Oh, I can, see, oh, I I can see the light. Yeah, I can see yeah. the light okay. now. So, does and, that mean they can see us seeing as they can see, we can yeah. see them? Elliot, no, we no, can't no. see. We can't. We can't actually see them, Daga. Like, okay, we can't see anything, but you can. Yes, I can see the fact that there's a light source. I didn't actually see the the. Right, enemies. right. Okay, so, Elliot, ready, my ex. Yes. Torch off. Torch off. Uh, oh, <laughs> don't fuck you now. How? Torch off. I mean, you we have to. to. You have to. We have. We have to. Ha how how do I turn my torch off? Just you want to torch off? Yes. Oh my god, I fucking hate you lot. Just blow it out. <laughs> blow it out. Just blow it out. <laughs> a gnome. <laughs> that was a, that timing gnome. was fucking perfect. Exactly as the alien blew. Okay. So <laughs> I'll I'll, I'll, I'll grab I'll grab Jimmy, okay, so he doesn't just like panic and stuff. You and can't be see like, shit. Yeah. 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 The lights are out, but yeah, no, before before he turns out the lights. I grab Jimmy, so he's right. He's, you know, be, don't be scared, okay? He can turn the light. Oh lights. my god! Okay. So <laughs> we 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 pairing up again? Me, no, me and, no, me no. And Dimitri, oh, now Jimmy now we've got the, now we've got the correct plan. Now the we correct plan is, Dimitriov and I stay here, right? Actions oh, right, prepped dude. in case we see yes. anything. And and the kid. And the kid. All actions prepped in case we see anything. And you so two, stealthy fuckers it. with night vision, you go out there, you fuck with them a bit, and then when they chase you, then we'll be able to see them, and then we can attack them. And that's yes. whether well, that's running. Well, there's in... loads of them, and they burst one of them down. We're, we're, well, they can't because they stay out of sight because they're, 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 they've got night vision, right? So they can stay out yeah, of the line of sight. Far, we see farther than they do. Okay, well, you go and scout it out and have a look. And if it looks yeah. dodgy, then let come and get me. Because, mate, I'm the fighter. I should be fighting. Yeah, but yes, we, we can but bring them to you instead of you going to them. Exactly, yeah. 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 All right, all right, all right. But are, are we doing oh, that? <laughs> well, you you two can walk around basically invisible, right? right? So you you uh, two just we... do what you think is good. But I like the idea of you two, like, kiting them to us, right? I, I, I just meant, like, too. in terms of timing. Hmm. Yeah, can we take a break? Because I need to walk Isla. Well, I mean, rather than a break, it's three hours, right? I'm just... yeah. Oh, come on. I was about to break it now. Let's do the next action here real quick. Okay, okay. <laughs> we, could have, we could have a little break. I'd get a cup of tea. We could, we could do this fight. What's, uh, what's, 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 what's the, the what are we doing here real quick, guys? Because I want to remind you, you saw their light source, right? Yeah. Mm. But and can, you just can extinguished we... yours, right? Yeah, mm. can we stop here then? Well, do you want to stop, or do you want to do like, do you want to, do you want to have a break and then carry on? No, nah, I was, I was gonna break us here as soon as you guys, as soon as one of the ones with uh, dark vision move forward. Ah, oh, let's do that then, shall we? Okay, so who's moving forward? We both are, right? Yeah. Okay, I'll need, I will need um, stealth rolls. Stealth rolls from both of you, please. So me and Jimmy are just fucking blind. Good yeah, work, yeah, guys. we're just in the dark. Good work, guys. N normal stealth roll. GG. Yes. <laughs> 
We're just in the pitch black. I think this is. Oh fine. my! My dice disappeared. Oh no, there it is. Never mind. Okay, it's not the fog. Oh no, Floggle's dice disappeared. I can't see Floggle's. Uh, I rolled twenty and you rolled nineteen. Yeah, it shows you on the right. Aim paused. Okay, so in front of you, what you see, what you see before you is not a beautiful sight. You see several cultists. You see um, an individual who you could identify quite easily in the same garb as as the healer from the last fight in the caves. But you see this strange... I don't want to call it a worm-like thing. I would describe it more as a leech with, with these five tendrils coming out of its where its mouth would usually be. And these tendrils have these these thorns or teeth or spikes emanating from all of them and it's just coming up and down on this body just just taking whole chunks of meat and blood and viscera and bone and it's it, it riles its its head back towards the ceiling as it's just chomping all this stuff down and as fast as it finishes with a body one of the the priest next to it throws another you know chunk of somebody's leg at it and it just starts going the town off of this what this is this is one of the ugliest things you've ever seen from a feeding standpoint then your stomach really turns as you see this fanatic and this fanatic as they're both consuming what appear to be small sections of whatever that leech is. So there's this leech has, if you'll, if you'll imagine, <laughs> like Elliot's face, if you'll imagine an earthworm, how it has these little sections, right? And this, they have one of those sections in their hands. It's like bulbous on one side. It's, um, it's flat on both the others and it looks just like a chunk of fresh meat, and they're both just chowing down on this thing. So they're eating the worm who's eating the cult. The... And that's where, we, that's where we break today's episode, mm. boys. How many feet long is the leech? <laughs> it's, it's big enough. Okay. okay. From this distance, you can't really tell. It's kind of riled a little bit. It's... And that's the leader that we killed. That's alive no, again. Not the one you killed. All right. Another he's he's in the same garb as the as the what you would have perceived to have been the leader. Do we recognize any other cultists? <laughs> no, not from this distance. No. He's obsessed with those prisoners. Yeah, oh he really God. is. <laughs> Let it go, man. Really Are any is. of them wearing like? Mandicles, or whatever they're called. <laughs> well, when we die, because you guys let. Mate, when we die, your fire when is we die. in the pitch black. Who can't fight anyone. Well, I'd like to remind you that the entire last fight went basically flawlessly and was all set up by my actions. Mm, okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, very quickly, um, Dimitriov and Daka give me perception checks. Oh okay. my god. This is mm. horrendous. We're all gonna die. <laughs> I'm gonna. Can I inspiration? Uh, you definitely may if you want. Yeah. Do you not want to save your inspiration for maybe the. No, because fight? I'm about to get rushed, mate. They saw no, the fire. you're not. I am, mate. I am. They're all oh, humans. I've got no. I put, no, I put disadvantage no. by mistake. It's okay. That's fine. Um, just roll a roll a regular one again because I'm not sure which one it grabbed. There we go. Normal. There we go. Okay. There's definitely movement from the cavern behind you, Dimmy. Yep. Yeah, you guys. Sounds yeah. and movement from the cavern behind you. you screwed me. No. It's okay. Look, if anything, yeah. if we if anything appears, we we, we can yeah, shoot it. Appears in the pitch black, Jim. No, Daka. like, they, they need lights. They're humans, right? They, they, they all need lights. Oh, Daka, little Jimmy's you know hand gets real tight around yours <laughs> when you hear that movement behind you, by the way. Oh. They're worms. <laughs> I mean, there could be worms, yeah. Worms could, yeah. don't have eyes. No. I mean, we could be up shit Definitely not this killer order. 
this killer worm has no eyes. No heart, no skull. God. Well, this was the worst idea ever. But we should we, probably take a prisoner instead of killing it. We literally started <laughs> by talking about Don't that. torture the worm. <laughs> I love how you guys turn, turn on each other in every combat. <laughs> <laughs> it's your fault. No, it's your fault. We, we just really needed to all be elves, I think. I think we just had to all be elves. Out the porch. <laughs> I didn't mean I, I, I needed need to, to go out. outside, so thank you so much for uh, today's session. Yeah, that was a good uh, time, Dave. Okay. Yeah, that was lovely. I'm enjoying how your character is really developing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, sometimes it's Into really easy to role play because you're feeling the same thing as your character. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, bye, everyone. Bye, chat. Thank Goodbye, you. Goodbye, Dave. Cheers. Cheers. And bye thank, now. Bye now. Thank you very much, Dave. Dimmy as well, and Elliot, and of course Jack Bull for sorting it all out. Amazing, amazing. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.